stayed at this. I'd go to McCall's house, right? Uh, mm. Big bear, uh, bear, and and just chill there and listen to rap music. This is before and we had a fucking studio cigarettes. Setup. Yeah, and smoke a lot of cigarettes. I have to yeah. say that because I'm hating on this voice. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it is. It is. This is not natural. No. Yes. It's, I wasn't born <clears throat> with it. It was cultivated. Enough um, hate. Yes. So a cousin of mine got me into smoking cigarettes. I mean, remember one time, and I, I was, I, I, but I always shot on him and kind of went, "The fuck are you doing, bum bum?" You know, acting all high and mighty on his ass, yeah, all righteous and <laughs> shit, you know. Okay, it's crazy that the answers nobody had I found when searching for myself. Let's toast to victory. Welcome to Chapman It with Buddha T. I am the Lord of the entire Lord of the Shade game, Lord of the Two Piece, Lord of the Crisp Air Force. Don't get it twisted. Lord of the the models sit right there by the table. The sponsor knows what time it is. Lord of the Fresh Corn Road just did it this morning. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> <laughs> Lord of the every, Lord of the mummies, Lord of the light skin, baby daddies, Lord of the entire. Welcome to Chapman with Buddha T. Uh, we have today a very special guest. I haven't called any guest special, by the way. Yes. <laughs> a very special guest uh, for today. A long time friend and uh, colleague of mine in this shit that we do. Uh, Sense of Vilagazi, Mr. Cuesta. Yes, sir. Uh, your, your near and dearest uh, family refer to you as Uskopo. <laughs> <laughs> they do, they do, they Welcome do. To Must you. peep the side profile. Their head is quite big. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Chad. They would have killed me had I not. Yeah, they would have not recognized this entire... I wouldn't, I wouldn't you know. have repped them. Yeah, I know, man. And I know you from your, your nearest and dearest. Exactly. Uh, hey, man, good to be here, dog. Welcome Yo, to the thank show. Thank you for having me, my G. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you for it. coming. Uh, this was a job. I was like, ah, do we have it? Do we not? Because it's... I don't even know how to have it. Yeah, I was thinking, like I was saying earlier, I'm like, coming here, I'm like, ish. What are we going to talk about that maybe we haven't or that we haven't already spoken about? And maybe like, it's, it's like the questions you'd ask me, you'd know the answers to kind of thing. And I've um, probably asked you them. Like yeah, a that's what times. I'm saying, you know, but, but I mean, it's a, then it's more of a catch up than not, you know, it's like a, I guess. A, an actual convo that's not really, yo, mm. let me ask you this and answer this, you know, like a, yeah. a whole I feel, I feel of, bad sometimes about doing that because then I feel like, I'm not really catering to the audience anymore. <laughs> I'm just having my own There's shop. That, oh, you got to think about the audience too. I wanna, On you, some level. You've got the whole. But of this Nakona, thing, I'm like, a rookie. I'm a rookie, no, so but you maybe got I'm it now. panicking. You get that the, impo- the, the audience is important. I would have just, you know, just winged it. <laughs> yeah, just been selfish. <laughs> and then not realize that maybe have the, the content for is yourself. also for, um, By about, the way, ladies and gentlemen, the beverage of the day. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yes, sir. Please. By all means necessary. Uh, how are you? I think is where we should start. Like, in 2023, what does Questa feel like? And specifically today. <laughs> specifically today. Well, in 2023, I'll start there. Right? Yes. It's a lot of sort of, I'm good in, 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 in like a broader way to answer it, like a very vague way. Mm. Um, it's 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 a positive feeling. I'm good, mm. uh, but also very anxious. Like I started this year with like creating a space or a thing that was gonna make me anxious for the rest of it, or until at least the day that this thing comes with the uh, 16th bar situation. You know, oh um, so shit! That's how I started the year. So the fr- how I started this year was literally. From Jan, I said, what to do this year? It's 2023-ish, the 16th one, right? Um, and 16th s- year. Yeah, in the game. By the way. Right? Yeah, the 16th year. Yeah. And, and I literally went to Carnival City and asked if they had a specific date for me. And they had plenty, and then I chose one. 
which is the 12th of August, the day after my birthday. And Fine. I dropped the deposit for that uh, to kind of secure the date. And my year has been filled with anxiety since. <laughs> you know? I because I set up this, I just had this convo um, with self and also just like, yo, here's what you do. You know, and mm. you start, when you start off the year, you ask yourself these questions and I answered it. Yeah. And to stop myself from backing out of it, I made you an immediate to. commitment here <laughs> right now at this point. If I don't do it today as I'm thinking about it, if I, if tomorrow I'm not making um, an action <clears> towards <throat> it, I may not do it. Um, but the anxiety is good. It's good anxiety. You of know, it's, it's it's like it's something I'm doing for the year. It's like a, a whole project I've given yeah. to myself. It's purpose, you know, because exactly. um, sometimes as much as we'd like to. Sometimes the purpose is not in the joint, you know, it's not in the song. It's other things that you can do that like can give you purpose creatively mm. also, you know. Especially when you're 16 years in. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Like, uh, the one in the song, you've... It's pretty much done, right? It's like, it's, 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 it's like, <laughs> if you think about it, it's like, I think to myself, what more or what else? Right, a lot of the mm. time, and a lot of the time when I don't answer is when I don't make the music or don't put it out at least. Mm. Um, so now I was like, ah, you I make the music because it's what I do, it's just generally, but I'll record it and keep it or whatever, yeah. you know. Uh, can't not like, make the music, you can't not make yeah. the music, yeah. That's that's, no, that's no, hard. No. Then you've been tried capping that. for 16 years, <laughs> I tried right? that. Uh, you, you can't, right? Yeah, <laughs> so, um, Even so I had your, to, okay, yeah, so I had Go to on. sort of give myself a, a creative purpose outside of this and. And also collaborative, right? Because after realizing that mm. it's 16 years, you understand certain things of why it's been 16 years, you know? And, and the big lead to that is is just love from people, you know, or support or attention, you know, that you've been getting for, 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 for this many years because you can do it for 16 years, but, you know, it, 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 it can amount to nothing. You know, just mm. years spent spent doing the wrong thing. You know, thinking yeah. you you uh, Ooh, you know what I mean. That's a possibility. You know what I'm saying. Um, so what people have done for me is actually almost reassure me um, a, a, a couple of times that yo, it's the right thing, and mm. and that's why then the purpose was also not a selfish one this year. I'm like, I'm gonna celebrate with these with with, with the people that have showed me love. I'm gonna celebrate with the people that did it with me, and remind them that we've been doing this together for 16 years. Mm. You know what I mean. Do you think it's possible though to to cover sixteen years it's without not, yo, purpose? Yo, like, let's be for real. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's there's stubborn people, dog, who are. It's what I always say. I'm like when people say, "Yo, you know the last words in an interview. Do I, what do you have to say to people out there at home?" Boom, boom. I mean, whatever you pick, just be good at it and be honest with yourself. You yeah. Know? If you ain't good at it, just accept that maybe you're not you mm. don't have what it takes to break in right uh, to love music you don't have to make it you know there's people who make beats or there's people who shoot the music video or what what you oh, know yeah, but there's stubborn people who by stubborn mean well it's misplaced stubbornness almost i, I would <laughs> say it's like um yeah. you you're, you're very determined and you want to go get it but it's not the thing for you yeah, yeah you yeah. know um and 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 it's hard to accept because you you don't want to be the one that tells yourself that this is you're not good enough for is this. Is it possible to win at it though? If you're in that stage, I've seen it a couple of times. <laughs> seen people who win at it with well, no have, with no have, purpose. Like I've, we've all heard of fluke songs but a or things. Year or, fluke? Yeah, but a sixteen year fluke is yeah, prob yeah, probably impossible. But then if you get it in <clears throat> say the fifth year and your fluke kind of pops off and you try to push that for the next um, 11 <laughs> now, you know what I'm saying <laughs> and you try and push that for the next 11 so mm. um, it's really that and some people it's, it's very tough to to accept that maybe it's not good enough or to accept public opinion because also we're, we're quick to say to people don't listen to anyone just do you don't listen well sometimes you must listen there, okay? there are certain people you should listen to yeah there are certain people who are just saying it because it's the honest truth and not because they um, I don't know sort of rating music not emotionally you know? yeah they're just saying all. bro I think you know that CV uh, maybe get that ready or yeah. that business you were thinking about that's not this maybe get that ready or anything else that's not this but mm. I can see there's like you know um, oh lot of the jig will make the shit look easy and everybody <laughs> think they can do it because yeah come on he it's almost effortless for him it must be for me too you know but that's that's Thanks. then the difference between a natural thing and a forced thing 
you know True. and and I've been blessed to kind of have a little bit of a natural thing and then met with um a support from people you know yeah. which is which is why I think I've had sort of 16 years in this thing it's really just a balance but we've also had our own ups and downs on the road uh, with the people that are supporting sometimes they of go course. what the hell is that bro you know <laughs> what's going on there what are you we know? doing what are we doing you know what i mean and then sometimes i'm like yo come on how y'all not feeling this you know what i mean but yeah. uh but it's, it's it's like that and 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 yeah so to go back to the actual question i'm good man the family's dope um i'm it's growing you know um our youngest is the boss now she's realized that she knows that she In runs the situation the yeah she's too so um they i've been peeping they kind of get that early too yeah i've been peeping that there's like a, a terrible twos thing going on uh, where it's like a, a known thing i didn't know this because my first one is 10 and when she was 2 when got the home when you know it was like Yo, you too. You're with your grandmother, or you're yeah, in Durban yeah, with your yeah. grandmother. I'm not. I'm really just putting things together. But now I'm here, here, and I'm seeing a two year old. I'm like, whoo! My God, I this thought is I ran they like. shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but but it's good, man. Um, we're good. We're we're grinding. We fight. We work. Um, dream. Pursue. Mm. Um, but all in all, good space. I feel you on that. Uncle Sam is six months now, like yeah. probably from two weeks ago, six yeah. months. Uh, and, dope, dope. and I'm also experiencing that. Like, I'm like, I didn't peep the other one in six months. Yeah. I was already, <laughs> That's I was the like, thing. Yeah, I'm you like, don't, hey, I don't there's remember nothing to, this. There's nothing to take from. It's like, yo, he's crying right now. <laughs> <laughs> and not just crying, but he's also just loud. Because yeah. I think he's, he's trying to figure his... His words are his mouth, out the so, ear, so he's just blurting everything. He's just, he's, <laughs> I think he's just found his throat and his <laughs> his vocal cords. Oh, no, and you have to deal. That, that time he Ooh. thinks he's probably communicating everything, and he's just probably mad him, at the fact that he thinks y'all are stubborn and y'all ain't hearing him. <laughs> for him at five, eight, like he wakes up at like half five, and he'll just be ah, it's oh, begun. Wow, <laughs> it's begun. Ah, yeah, I'm just like every <laughs> part. <laughs> like, yeah, but but I mean. It's all learning, right? It's 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 all uh, it is what it is. It's good things. So to kind of again go back to the questions, like you call it anxiety, and that's looked down upon. But it's like being anxious of greatness. Yeah. You know, so a chosen anxiety is a good one. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's actually, I think, is a good cure for anxiety. I think you get anxious when you don't give you yourself don't, things to be anxious to about. To actually be yeah. and say, this is what I need to be anxious about. Yeah, if about, you yeah. give yourself something that will That's take your anxiety, bad. then you won't have useless it, anxiety yeah. that you don't know what <laughs> to do You have very controlled anxiety. You know where it's going and you know what it's about. This anxiety, right. you know, I have to prepare for this date. I set yeah. a date yeah. and I have and this I'm much time. It. That's actually true. Yeah. That's pretty true. So maybe if we take out that anxiety because it's chosen, I'm good, man. I'm really good. I'm, yeah. I'm blessed. I'm progressing. I'm moving. I'm alive. I'm breathing. I'm working. I'm not working. I'm working again. I'm trying. I'm, yeah. you know, I'm failing. You're I'm living passing. Life. I'm, I'm, yo, I'm doing everything that, you know, one who's alive does. You know? mm. So that's it's, pretty cool. It's so crazy because as I'm sitting with you here, obviously the job in my mind is formulating. So now I'm like, I'm listening to you and I'm like, everything's going... <laughs> it's like itself, the, yeah, these 16 years are going <laughs> in my mind hey man. so hey I'm man. just sitting here I'm like damn for somebody who's like in the audience watching you and has just listened to the first what is that five ten minutes we're in mm -hmm. it's like okay so you're the kid from Mekate Hong who dropped out of high school yeah. and you have just spent 10 minutes articulating yourself like that, talking about <laughs> you've given yourself the anxiety of setting up your own show in, what's the date? Carnival City, 12th of August. 12th of August. The 16th That's bar. next month. That's literally, yeah, Damn, from we're today going is literally in. about 31 days to go. It obviously took you more than 16 years to become this sense. Of course, of course. Yeah. It took many years to kind of even build the confidence to even first go against the family and say, actually, there's this thing I've been doing that you guys don't know about and mm. I want to replace school with it. <laughs> right? You also started it as a secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, mm. yo, no one, it's even my friends, like, it was, 
Pelé at the, at the time it wasn't cool, so it was it was kind of embarrassing. That too. Yeah, that it too. was looked down upon. In the hood, like, yeah, in the hood, it was like. <laughs> Yeah, but, yeah, but, but, rap, you know so mm. it was was embarrassing a bit and and mine even started more embarrassingly right because it started off, off with like some cheesy ass poetry i used to do in high school right it was Damn. yeah you started with the poetry i started with the poetry which was cheesy as hell um you know you think back hood, and, because every other exactly right it's like you come from this place and you go to this place to go to school and and you love this thing called poetry right so your friends don't know this but it's cool whenever they go in yeah we're doing creative writing or we're doing speeches or whatever mm. just you know i'm up there going you so know you did the, what did you do the multiracial yeah so i i, oh, okay. I started off um um the hood schools, the, the they hood don't school. really do the poetry like no, that no <laughs> And if you do do them, it's, yeah, respectful. If you do, it's changing now. At least it's like a, yeah. there's 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 a lot more acceptance and and tolerance and mm. you know embracing in the hood than there was then. Um, but it's still like kind of, mm. which is also a part of the work you've done, by the way. To kind of try and 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 bridge those two, right? Or, no, or the fact it, that you have made certain things more acceptable in the hood by becoming who oh, you've yeah. become. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's that's, that's actually kind of super that's, crazy. That's real. It's, the things I don't, I don't, I don't know the full impact of the past 16 years because I was going through it. Mm. I was living it, right? Um, you haven't taken any only, time to sit in. I do take some time, but sometimes I go, ah, you capping, that couldn't have been you. you know? <laughs> I was like, come on. No, don't take you credit for that. It, yeah. You're pushing it. You know what I'm saying? So I I get to, you. As soon as I get to that, I'm like, stop it. You know? I feel you. And I stop. Um, but yeah, so, I want to Ben Kele look shitty from grade, well, the first grade until about grade five mm. no four right? and then grade five my multiracial thing started but um mm. i don't even know where i got the funny thing is that this create i got it from like just appreciating language i really liked the english language mm. uh, just solely based on you know uh figures of species and things like that like yeah, yeah. i was like oh that's crazy you could say that but mean that metaphors you know yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's, that's even before i got into like hip-hop mm -hmm. right i appreciated language mm. um, or oh, you remember then, appreciating like, language before the before music before I got into the music yeah oh, I that's remember fire. appreciating language way before um, the, in high school is when I really got into hip hop you know mm. and my whole primary school was uh, well I had heard Eminem and it was like I was like he's crazy right? but yeah. because also I was with a bunch of white kids I didn't understand how intricate it was and this that because I wasn't yeah. into the culture but I you know I was like yeah okay cool there's this thing called hip hop yeah. interesting and when I got into high school um, there's a guy I met his name is Moses Tladi um, went to school he kind of went he has H2O he has squad camp he has this he has that oh, was, he gave you the and my mind was just blown I was like what People actually do this thing. I could it's take not that. Just and, Eminem. You know, yeah, yeah, from you know? out here. And I can take it. my appreciation of this language thing and put it here because this is what these guys are doing anyway. Mm. You know, um, and so that whole thing started. But I mean, um, yeah. So the past sort of I forgot where we started this. The language appreciation. The language coming appreciation, first. right? Um, mm. So you always in the hood. It was tough to come out like that and go, "Yo, I rap," because it, I mean, first of all you go to multi-racial schools, right? Which the girls like already because it's about like, that. oh, damn. Yeah, the girls like it. But, mm. you know, the hood, the, the, niggas, the, the, the niggas is like, oh, sell out, you know. Or, Playing with you, or, yeah. or rich kid or cheese boy, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Um, which was not the case. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's just you know, mo kelale, kelale, hey, there's a difference between you and I, right? Mm. Um, so for me, it's always been important. I think that's what taught me the importance of, of having, of, at least trying to, you know, secure both cultures because it's a different thing. It's like a yeah. your day split in half. Uh, the one, the morning. And, yeah, it's like your entire day is split in half in two different worlds. Every you're day of your nigger, life. Like, you're different you're two different niggas in every one day. day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fire, so, that's so true. So it's, yeah, yeah, you know? So, mm. so I think that's how naturally it always came. One of the things that people kind of always, maybe when they see me or appreciate anything I've done, they're like, you know, it seems like, you know, you bridge these two things together, like the the hood. You, it's like mangre peng ngutu dan dan ngutu into aktalak talikon, right? But mm. um, for it to be embraced like that, people kind of go, yeah, it's cross cultural. Now it's in the club, but uh, it's it wasn't a 
a conscious thing. Mm. I think it was just something that was already you in me to know to... that. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to, but I was mm. built up by these things that had me do two days in one day or two different cultures in one day. And, and I think that's how I've been able to navigate the game throughout. And I've been trying to stick to that instead of going, it's safer there or it's unsafe there or, or this, that, and the third. But mm. um, yeah, it's been, it's been a very interesting, my come up was very, very interesting. Um, and, and having to come out and say, I rap, uh, you know, it feels like, I, I mean, it's, it's like a closet of sorts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just felt like that right yeah. now. Having you know? to come out. And <laughs> yeah. Imagine, that's what rapping that's what was. was. <laughs> yeah, that's really what it was. It was like, that's crazy. yo, so, um, and then go call out here. I'm going to call right. Uh, bear, big bear empire. Uh, come on but, now. Yeah, he he always come fucked with the rap. Now. So as soon as I linked up with him, you know, it was like, okay, shop, you know, this guy. And and he's still back on his phone. He doesn't give up. He back yeah. me the fuck he's up, bro. He's a very back you up he, type. Yo, of Joe, that man. Hey, jeez, man. Uh, that guy would see you because I never dressed like a rapper. Or did and it, like you you could never tell. Yeah. Um, and also. That wasn't because I was I was hiding it or whatever. It was just I just never had the fashion the fashion sense. I, I still think I don't. But um, yeah, yeah, it is what it is. I, but I, I'll learn. I mean, I got you to lead the shit. And, you, you know, I'll, I'll follow this. <laughs> you got there's, better. There's you got better though. Up. You got better. I got slightly better. Yeah, right? you, you're nice um, now. I see so, you do some things these days. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm trying to put two and, and two together. I'm like, too. Exactly. Shout yeah, wife got a lot to do with that. Yeah, she got a lot to do with that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that man would like literally, you know, and, and if you looked like a rapper, he'd stop you in the street and go, yo, you're a rapper, I'm a rapper, this is now when, and, and, and he's like very, you know, very confrontational, yeah. you know, um, and would do that, and, but he, that's how much he believed in it, he didn't care what the rapper was, who the rapper was, he kind of felt, Yo, I could put you in front of anybody and you could rap. It's just, obviously, the people we're meeting were people in the same conditions as us. So yeah. it wasn't really like, you know, we're meeting, um, I don't know, um, a, a big executive people from Eric. People going to change our yeah, lives. <laughs> yeah. know, it was just that, you know. Um, but yeah, so I found solace in that, in the fact that um, there are some people that, that, that really fuck with this shit and Kolo was one of them. And then when a group of guys called African Africa's most southern records, AMS, also moved down the street, like two streets away from the crib, and mm. they had like a proper studio set up, you know. And by that point, I was now already what I was afraid of because I was walking around with like a pad in my hand all the time um, in the hood. Yeah. Outside, I'd lit yeah. Oh, also, I'd now carry you're a wearing the yeah. Now I'm like, but I'm not wearing like them. But I'm I'm just this. Yeah, I'm saying you're wearing the up, rapper thing. Yeah, I'm a rapper. I'm, they know like, now, like I would walk around like speak to myself almost oh, but I was I was rapping you know formulating <laughs> lines even when I was walking with people so at this point I'm like ah, it's like I'm, so I'm this gonna is try this obviously rapture. you're already in high school you need to if you yeah yeah I'm like I, so what grade cool, is though, this what this is, is this? grade 9 10 yeah yeah I'm in grade 9 10 okay um, at this point and and I hate it I hate, hate having to go to school. Yeah, yeah, because the only thing I go there for is this language thing anyway. Uh, so but now I've found a way to use it in a way that I love. Yeah, you know that you enjoy. Yeah, that I enjoy. You know? So and is rap always a change my life thing for you? Like no. from jump, was it always, no. did you get in always to, I'm, you're going I'm going to be, be a, a star and change some point? my life? No, yeah. no, not at all. I didn't even have a rap name. <laughs> <laughs> I was just rapping to rap. Exactly, I right. Didn't even have, I didn't even have a name. I, uh. It wasn't until, until Pro Kid, and then 2005, I think it was, yeah. when I, or maybe four or five or something like that, when I heard Pro, Pro Kid, I think the first time I heard Pro Kid was on was radio. What? Um, he was freestyling and this, that, and the third. But I thought, ah, you're probably never going to hear from this guy again. Like all the rappers, you know, that come into either rap Just activity hear him jam. Today or, and then, then I heard, and then he dropped the horses over one. He dropped the whole heads and tails. I then said, I'm going to do this with my life. Because also another misconception I had, um, I mean, I'm a kid at this point. Uh, so I'm very gullible. And mm. that's how I mean by kid. I'm not a child child, but I'm, I'm gullible. I'm like... Um, these guys made it and they're all rich. Right? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that, you know, of course. <laughs> I'm like, these guys are rich. I get so instead of gullible. this doctor, uh, lawyer thing, I could be rich this way because yeah. pro kids rich. Come on. 
Mm. He's on TV, right? <laughs> you are rich if you're on TV. Yeah, if you're on TV, yeah. you're rich. Yeah, you're rich. You have money. How? Mm. How? No one goes. To t- I don't know anyone who's been to TV, yeah. and none of us are rich. So mm. the rich people go to TV, right? Um, and but really, it was the skill and the things, and obviously thinking that they there's enough money for me to in this career to kind of make my parents understand yeah. that, yo, you know, I, I just won't be a doctor. I'll be this, you know, but. Obviously, they understood that this thing was subjective. It's music. It's not. You don't show it's a piece of guaranteed. paper and they go, "Yo, you're hired." You know. So no, yeah. you're this good. Yeah, <laughs> you're in. You and know. We're paying you this much, also. Yeah, you're this, this is good. where you start off. Yeah, and then you'll just keep moving up from here on out. <laughs> you know? Absolutely uh, none. And of it, it wasn't like that. Uh, it but did, it actually didn't even exist as an industry then, which is even worse. Yeah. Then yes, that's even a, worse to so, try and convince. So then. that's when I got in, in, and I decided that I was. I realized that. I'm like, oh shit! I'm in a thing that's fighting to be a thing. Yeah, it, it, this it's thing is not actually thing. not even a thing. It's not a thing. Yeah. It's just us liking the fact that oh, he raps better. He raps nice. He raps, and that's mm. about it. Mm. And there's like two or three other guys who are probably making money out of it, but everyone else. It's that only you know really, is really a thing in America. The, the niggas that we grew up watching on TV. It's so only now this really is me with the there. egg in the face, right? Oh my like, gosh, shit! This is fucked up. Uh, fuck. Because now yeah, I'm. Getting into the culture, I'm listening to interviews. I'm I'm getting the scope of what South African hip hop looks like. So mm. you're hearing interviews from the outrageous guys, right? Those outrageous um, records, which had um, "Oh My Way to O," "H to O," "Proverb," and had mm. "O Do Me" and the volume "Optical Illusion." All Legendary of them, you know. Names. Reason, the mass, you know, who was also <laughs> Come on now. yeah. Reason was like my idol, right? It was like because he was that he's the nearest guy who raps that I've heard rap with proverb. Right. Mm. I want to meet this guy. Yeah, Love thanks. this guy, you know. Mm. And and actually, the first time I met him, he said, oh, "You're my favorite rapper from Katlehong," which I took with a pinch of salt because I'm like, "Why am I not your favorite rapper?" Period. But okay, <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> it's all right. It's it's like all right. Home, <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I'll take that. You know. Mm. Um, and so, but yeah, to kind of back to the, it's, it's like when I heard pro rap, mm. I I I was, I had loved this thing. I was doing it, but I was doing it just. But I wanted to do it as as a career I wanted to do it like forever you know mm. um, this is why I say Pro's not the first rapper I heard but he's he's the one that kind of got he's me the one that made you the, believe yeah, that made me believe that first of all I want to do it and I want to represent what he represents I want to talk to the people he's talking I want I want to be like that man mm. I, wanna, I, wanna I want to be I want exactly that. like that yes yeah. you know um, and I hadn't had a lot of people before that that I looked at and went, I want to be like I, I didn't have Oh, yeah, that anybody are, that you like, <coughs> this me. guy, I want to be like this yeah, guy. Yeah, I don't have any sort of role models like that. Like, if you had asked my, my role model then, I'd probably say some stupid shit like that. I don't know, Denzel Washington or some stupid shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. which is not stupid. It's Denzel actually, can be your... Say, yeah, yeah, it's Washington not stupid. It's a good it's, role. It's, it's just that... It's a great role model, actually. Just with, because I didn't want to be an actor, I could have mentioned an actor or someone very yes, prolific, sir, yes. but that was also based on I want to be successful, really. It doesn't matter what I do. Exactly, right? exactly. Um, and until I saw pro, I said I want to be that, um, mm. and and yeah. And, How do and you give in to the dropping out? Because already in grade nine, ten, you're hating the school way, which I can kind of relate to. I remember feeling that way in grade ten. I didn't know where that feeling was coming from, but just feeling like, oh, again? I just hate thing, coming out here. Like, I gotta go there again. Why are we coming out here, Jeez, bro? I I don't. There was, and I'm not gonna dog it. It was I. I was saying this the other day. It's not even like school was a terrible environment. Like I had teachers who didn't believe in me or what. But mm. those teachers loved me. Yeah, teachers I was a pretty good too. student. Yeah. Like I was pretty dope, you know. Um, I just didn't want this. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have. That's why I've never referenced. Like you know how a lot of rappers go. That high school teacher yeah, that told me told I wouldn't amount to shit. Make it. <laughs> I have none of those. I've had very, very good um, yeah. and and supportive teachers my entire career, my entire schooling um, career. career. Yeah, short lived no as it key. was. Yeah, <laughs> sure. It's the other. It's the only other thing I've ever done with my life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to be real. Yeah. Um. And and so I had that feeling. Which is, I don't. I know. I don't want to be here. I know. And and and. You know, not as good as I am, or as okay a student as I am. Um, I. It's just. 
I, I just don't want to do this. Right? But in mm-hmm. my head, I kept thinking, no, just go do it and finish. And then you'll tell, you'll talk about then maybe yeah, about tertiary education. You'll then have the conversation with the old lady. Nana. Yeah. And then it just bit me so hard. I was like, it just kept, I was like, yo, old lady. I had to drop the bomb at some point. I talked and spoke to my brother first, mm. and my brother told me shit. And I'm like, "Fuck, what the fuck you talking about? Don't ever, don't ever say that type of shit again." Had he you out of your mind? Yeah, he was finished. Mm. Yeah, he, was finished. he was head boy in high Damn, school. Damn, so he's the complete opposite. He was like, "Yo, he did everything right. He was prefect Damn. and went head boy." Mm. No, damn, sorry, he wasn't head boy. He was prefect. He was head boy in primary school. Oh, and, but he was like it's prefect. Still that type. nigga, yeah. yeah, it was like, sheesh. Um, and me, and, uh, funny, I'll get. Offered um, prefect, prefect right, 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 yeah. nominated for that shit, <laughs> and I said, "Nah, my, like, am nah, I, nah, am nah. I? <laughs> I don't want to." You know, um, but that's also because I kind of knew that I was, I was, it, it, it wasn't for me, so I had to have the meeting. Well, not even the meeting. Just so, wait, drop the did you just get to a full team. stop, or did you start with the? I started with the daughter. Yeah, I started with the banking. Yo, yo, they think I'm going to school because mm. you know. So I leave and kind of walk around the hood and what, what, and kind of found a position where I could see my mother leaving also. <laughs> uh, you want me kept up. Because, yeah. you know, my mother either had a car, didn't have a car. It was like, there was always a car and then not, and then a car and then not. And there is, so, and there is a Yeah, it was always like that. So, <laughs> my mother was at the same time, which was tricky because sometimes, Meling, but because I was going further, because suga it's timing, e. yeah. Yeah, it's timing, you know, who cry with a man send to me no one, like, my figure, my text, I come, my figure, call, and I just gotta watch you go, for real, mm. you know. Um, but even with that, then I, 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 I schemed another way, right? I can actually go and just get to where I was supposed to connect and just come back to the crib. Good. Yeah, yeah, which is literally what I did. And, and when she was driving, so you were I just watched the and car. back to the crib? Yeah, I was banking, come back to the crib, and then, uh, where and I'm called hated this. I'd go to Mkola's house, right? Uh, mm. Big bear, uh, bear, and and just chill there and listen to rap music. This is before and we smoke had a fucking cigarettes. Setup. Yeah, and smoke a lot of. Cigarettes, I have to know? say that because I'm hating on this voice. <laughs> Fuck! I have so never felt cigarettes. so squeaky on this show. And it's so weird. Like my my a cousin of mine got me into cigarettes. It wasn't even something I thought was cool. I mean, I go to multiracial schools. Like, I find other things cool, you know. I, I think, yes. you know, poetry. So to the is cool. people at home, this yeah, is a cigarette voice. This is not. <laughs> it is. It is. This is not natural. No. Yes. It's, I wasn't born with it. <clears throat> it was cultivated. Enough um, hate. Yes. So a cousin of mine got me into smoking cigarettes. I mean, remember one time, and I, I was, I, I, but I always shot on him and kind of went, "The fuck are you doing?" Bum, bum, you know, acting all. Had my righteous. Ass. Yeah, all righteous and shit, you know. <laughs> and mm. I tried it one time, got dizzy, said I'll never try it again, tried it again. And, you know, and then eventually smoked. So I smoked for a very long time and kind of the voice kind of broke. As You know when it breaks? Because you're growing and then mm. it breaks because you just been fucking it up the whole time, fucking mm. up your throat. Um, so that's what happened with this voice. But anyway, yeah, so we chill all day and listen to um Nas Optical Illusion Outrageous Guys uh Prover Pro Kid mm. you know just listen to rap music it's before we even set up mics and things um and then and you out time go Don King Don he was like he likes he likes his title and he probably want me to say this of he's course. one of the first guys to have a computer look she come on, <laughs> come on now <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Right, one of we the first guys on the You him. can't take it away from Please. me. Please. Right? So, yeah. Respectfully. Um, and so, I mean, Utono was an easygoing guy. He was a soccer player guy, blah, blah, you know, like, you know, just a hood guy. He wasn't really into music, but he appreciated, loved Tupac, you know, um, and mm. because he had a computer and he was pretty, you know, nimble with the stuff. He knew what to do, he knew how to his way around it. Yeah. Uh, and, and we figured out a way to record. Um, and as soon as we figured out a way to record, I knew that my school shit was done. Was you like, knew, ne? Was the like, pub said, coach I'm not immediately. Bank anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna I'm resign. Gonna I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> resign. I'm gonna hand in my letter to the rent. Because it's a career, this handle. So. And and dog, this is after now we've I've had a year, school year. I've passed, but now they've attached like a a letter to my report, which. Mm. I says sharp one done, you know. Mm, uh, yeah, I say a man. Yeah, I say a man. It's been alright, but. Uh, <laughs> what kind of kid were you at school? Being sharp, I just, I just, I was like, 
it was almost like rebelling against Vela, the fact that I'm here. It wasn't because yeah. I'm naturally or I'm the class clown or anything. No, I just, yo, not do that. Or they say do this. I say, no, let's rather do that. Or it's just start some, you know, just, just, yeah, just, just the weird. natural guy. rebellion. Just, yeah, yeah, it was just rebellion. It wasn't mm. like I wasn't the nuisance or the, you know, I, was, I wasn't when known around the school for class. a trooper. You know, um, I was actually known for the poetry stuff, and and I'd got I'd won a talent show at one of these schools. Uh, wow. so I was like, I was pretty popular, but not, not like you know, and also, it's different things for different schools because I went to three different schools. Mm. So um, the first one Wait, was pretty high quiet. This career. is when you went yeah, three different high, school. high schools. Yeah. So did yeah. I? Did I? I don't know. I went to three it's different. I went to one, and mm. that's where I started rapping. I went to another one. Kind of hit it a bit, and um, that's where I won the talent show. When I brought it out again, I was like, "This is when I was like, ah, oh, fuck it, I rap." Right? Mm. Um, and then, and then when my parents got tired of me because I'd gotten the letter attached twice, um, Yoguti says sharp, says sharp. Mm. Uh, so on the third one, they took me back Don't to the hood. What do they call those letters? No return or something. Yeah, yeah, something. I'm telling you, no return. No return. Yeah, no work better. No return. No sharp. No fire. Grand part. But then, yeah, uh, hi. You know, um, and so so I went to the hood, I went to um, uh, Elandulas, which is where I, I went there for a bit. I was quiet. I never made an impact there at all. Uh, mm. Barely went, uh, and then that's when I went home because I was recording now. Mm. We found a way to record. Uh, went home and I said, "I think I'm done." Yeah. Now, corner. I may be, I may be capping. I, I didn't, I didn't decide to go home. I think bank park would be a bank, you know. <laughs> and, my, I, I, I and my uncle was one of the teachers at the school, right? So it was the one that you're going to. Yeah, the school that I'm going to now. My uncle's one of the teachers out there, so he out there doing his snitch he's, job. He's snitching out there. He's snitching <laughs> of on me. Of course, yeah, you know he's he's snitching on me like yo. Damn. Hey, and Pella, my mom is his sister, so you know of he's course. looking he out. He has to hold you know? it down. Yeah, yeah, he's holding it down, and and so when they found out, that's when I kind of told them, yeah, ish, I'm full no buyela. It's not by mistake, or it's not causing a trip, or in second, mm. I'm on I'm on drugs or whatever. I'm just you know out here rapping. Mm. Hmm? Which is worse than them? They, they probably felt like rather the drugs. We'll Maybe fix the that. Drugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? This rap thing now, you know. Um, and and yeah, that's really how it started. And and what well, kind of my meeting? Yeah, we, they called the whole family on. on of me. course. And then, yeah, because you know, now you had you uh, entered grade eleven or, or before, senso, starting? before starting? Before uh, starting. This was no. This was my grade eleventh year. Um, yeah. So during the towards it. the end of the yeah yeah. Or towards, towards, towards the, the end. end of, so you almost uh, rapped. Almost rapped, but. Um, you know, this, this is probably but about halfway through also. the year. Yeah, <laughs> about halfway through the year, I probably accounted for like 30 days. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I feel <laughs> you. Like, you. Yeah, the other time I wasn't stage. there. That wasn't there at all. Mm. You know, um, nothing I'm proud of, kids. I'm not proud of what I'm saying. <laughs> by the way, I'm not proud of it. Just, thank it you was, for saying yeah, that. Yeah, by yeah, the way, nothing, stay in school, just, kids. Yeah, please. Um, and so... Yeah, so they started the meetings. I'm a go go, I'm a go go, 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 auntie. Obviously, to convince you, what's, what's, going what's going on? What's going on? Mati ai, mati ai. So much so that I left the crib. Yeah, I said I'm out. Sebe bang istefe aku. Yeah, I'm like in jalo at the meeting. I'm nizo, must mean. Shut up, nizo. Because you guys are not listening to me. And the other day, I need to actually, I need to find it. She just took a picture of it. Literally, a, a couple, a month or so ago, my mother found a letter I wrote to her. Saying, saying, I'm out. I'm, I'm out of the crib now. I'm leaving. I'm gone. So the language was really a thing. He even wrote a letter wrote to letter leave because home. Now I'm gonna have to sit through <laughs> another meeting and cry, explaining myself. Mm. I'm funny now. You What's know? The guys, I don't know how to do this. I don't thing. want to do this <laughs> thing. You know. Um, so I wrote a letter and found it one time. Sent Did me it a rhyme? Of it. No, it didn't <laughs> rhyme, which was terrible. Like ah, it would have been dope uh, if it rhymed. Yeah, you know, uh, may make that an album cover or something. It's just, it'd be Come crazy, on, right? Come it'd on, be crazy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and at, and at that point, that's when everything started and um, got introduced to you know the guys I was mentioning earlier, AMS, who had like now proper studio, yeah. uh, proper recording facility. And at that time, I was like, I was gone. I was really just and now. I was Questa, you know. Uh, I was starting to make a name around. A street or two in my area, and a house or two, and yeah, then a maybe block, the block, and then yeah, 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 you know, and then it kept <laughs> kept getting bigger and bigger, yeah. and 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 yeah, the whole thing started, and you know, the next stop was Butterbing, 
you know, from from that and to literally took How a does demo. it become the next stop? I think we were just having a conversation. Just the general feeling in AMS was that Butter Bing was doing the best or doing the most. Yeah, of in, course, in, of in, course. At that time, especially as a management company, as a record label, the Squatter Camp, they, they just had my man, Slicker's got his own solo thing going on. They're just everywhere, oh, yeah, my right? my man, and my man had, yeah, what, you know, like two was my hits? man. Dog, let me tell you, when I went to... <laughs> that was fine. When I finally went to... Okay, maybe we'll get there, right? Mm. So, yeah, so the whole idea is just that Butter Bing are the, are the greatest, and they from the East Rand, well, at least a lot of them, you mm. know, um, yeah. uh, the, the base uh, is from, they're just known as the guys from Leonde, which is literally a, a taxi ride away from, from where I am, mm. you know? And so we're like, you know, these may be the guys to kind of connect with, you know, and try work. That and initially sense. when we went there, it wasn't really a record de- recording deal that we were looking for. It was management really, you know? Um, and, and, and then, but when we went there, however, with the demo, uh, they said, nah, we ain't trying to work with nobody. Uh, just solely based on the fact that we just had a a bad sort of fallout with an artist, uh, which was with my man. Which was my man, time. okay. Yeah, but with my man, should go to the and what the and what the and the That obviously was before man. my time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, my man was no longer their man, you know? Um, and, and so based on that, they just said, nah, we're not looking to sign anyone or work with anyone. I mean, uh, yeah. we're just based on resources, based on our plans, just there's no plans to work with a guy right they now. They were hard for it at the time. Yeah, yeah. They're like, hey, maybe let's focus on us, right? My and you kind of have to respect guys, that. Sorry. <laughs> you know? My palm is itching. <laughs> I'm like, guys, I you think, know? Uh, and, and, and yeah, I do think it, something do it. is happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's yes. getting to the right ears. Yeah, figure. Yeah, figure. <laughs> and, uh, um, so, uh, so yeah, uh, we go there with, with the CD. The demo. Yeah, I didn't even know how many songs the demo was supposed to have, but I think that thing had like 23 to 30 songs. Uh, Goodness. Bro, I was the, all I was doing was recording. I mean, even when I started working with AMS, right? They were working with other artists and people, and thing. I literally was there every day to record something, just looking for beats. Mm. Like, Yo, beat, beat, and and at that point, writing is easy. It's quick. It's like, you know, because I'm not even trying to formulate these intricate stories or what, what, or this until I eventually got um, also the, the 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 mastering of, or at least understanding that oh, you have to rap about different stuff outside of telling us how dope you are, you know. Um, and so so there was always a lot of songs just lying around. There was just plenty of songs. And we you took already that doing demo. that then? Yeah, yeah, bro. I was like, yo. Imagine, bro, I only realized I just, already inside the industry because <laughs> you have to rap about more than just how fire you are. <laughs> Imagine how terrible that is. Yo, that's so it's one of the things Slick as it as, as a comment well, after we started working, like... Um, like it's the fact that you can make songs that I like, and, That's and in fire. my head that that was like that really meant that you can write about mm. different stuff. It's because a song is a song, is a beat is rap. That's what mm. you start off with and say it's a song. It's a, when it says you can make songs it means you can, you know, you know the this needs a melody. This needs that. I need to talk about this. I need to talk yeah. about that. Yeah. So I kind of had that also because I was a fan of Immortal Technique. Right at the time. So. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, nigga. <laughs> hey, that's my G, dog. Hell that's dog. my old G. That dude put me through a lot of shit. <laughs> he got me through a lot of shit, bro. Shout out Immortal Technique. <laughs> I hated that. Era. Yeah, um, mm. I mean, so he, he he always had like the fucking weirdest stories and, and, and weird shit like that. But anyway, um, mm. so yeah, we drop off this city and they tell us, Velo, would nah, 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 dog. That's his part, nah, 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 nah. But we leave the mm. city and a couple of days later, then they call and uh, like, um, oh yeah, shit, let's 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 talk about this. Hey, maybe it's Aspana. Yeah, yeah I think, <laughs> and I think there's Uche uh, So I was working with Slicky and worked at a radio, I'm not sure what he does now, but he was at a radio station. Uh, not too long ago, used to work at Butter Bing, right? And mm. he was the one that kind of popped the thing in the car. Right? What and radio station? He worked at Metro. Oh, JJ. Yeah, um, JJ Sissing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, from the Ask Oh, you didn't want to say Metro? 
I don't do it, shit, bro. Respecting you know? my platform. I'm respecting Come the on, platform. Now. Come on, you gotta do <laughs> this <on> shit. <laughs> you know I what I'm like saying? It. I'm respecting the platform. Can yeah, just do whatever you want. You, Metro. you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Shout out um, to JJ. Oh shit, yeah. he was at Paraping. Yeah, he was at, at Paraping. Okay, at the time. fire, and, fire. And I think he was the one to kind of pop the take the CD. And they probably had a bunch of them, right? Because of I'm course. sure I wasn't the only one to drop off the CD. And then, then I guess one of my days came and he just picked up that one and, and they were bumping it and and I think he went to Slick and said, Yo, nah, bro. The kid might be there's the something kid. there. And mind you, there's Shop Fede in that shit, right? Uh, which which is what got them really, I think. Um and and he said, Yeah, the kid might be a king. Shop you know? Fede already? Yeah, there was Shop Fede. Shop Fede was old, yeah. I made that in it was old when it was new. It was old when it was new. Yeah, Shit. it was old when it was new. I hated Crazy. it when it was new. <laughs> I was like, I'm I playing this old you. shit. <laughs> I feel you. I'm out here playing this old ass shit. I actually like this handle. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and that's how pretty much everything started, you know, to tell you the mm. truth. And, and from there, just really, <clears throat> you know, I'm, I'm following Slick everywhere. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm, I was a hype man, you know. Um, literally back, I'm learning his lyrics, I'm singing, and I'm getting my little... Oh, I'm backing him on stage and I'm getting my little five minutes. Yeah, then it's giving of you your little. Yeah, 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 during his set, you know. So I wasn't getting bookings, but mm. he was like taking me along on his bookings mm. and he's like, yo, come, you know, come do your out. thing. Dude. It was either I'd get a song or I'd get a verse or whatever, depending on uh, the set time or the performance time. Yeah. You know? That's actually now when I That's came when, yeah, across starting. you. Yeah, yeah. Like, because <clears throat> I'm at this point. At Vits, hmm. and I've just recently also now become a rapper, and recently come into the idea of okay, maybe becoming an actual rapper yeah. like in real life <laughs> it could be yeah. a, a possibility. I'm still yeah. not all the way sold. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still super nonchalant. I mean, I came in a smash, still super nonchalant. So mm. obviously, I'm still super just. But it's an idea. So you are one of. Is it even fair to say one of the first? But yeah, you were one of the first niggas that I saw kind of blow up on the internet <laughs> at that time. <coughs> like, I used to see videos of you when you were with Slicker. Yeah, yeah. On, on the YouTube. Internet. Yeah, on YouTube. <laughs> see, that um, was then. At that time. Yeah. And this yeah. is like 2000 and probably 10. Yeah. Or even 2009, 2009 maybe. Yeah, yeah 2009. 2008, 2009. Yeah. I'd be at Vince out there at the labs, and like then, <laughs> <laughs> just because now I'm Shooting interested. YouTuber. I'm like, okay, now I'm in Joburg, and yeah. this thing is kind of and so there's word about it's like, yo, this, something's this going on out there. I'm like, okay, let me see. Someone had told me like, I don't have to be at an actual guy. show to see something. I could see it at home oh, with okay, these rappers. Let me see quest that guy. So when I saw a show, I'm like, oh shit, because <laughs> I thought I was dope, but what I saw. Oh, you do I was like oh he has confirmation he's dope he's been on <laughs> yeah, stage he's, they've and told like, him he's dope right and he's, obviously he's you coming up yeah you doing the the that was the shit at the time yeah, too whole four line punch yeah, the, line drop, drop the beat, beat everywhere you can every, uh, everything every is a punchline punch everything is a punchline <laughs> so the videos look like oh this <laughs> I'm fire, like, oh right? this nigga is yeah. obviously I'm also at, when you come in you're rapping bar for bar that's how you that's, that's how, how you came start out you gotta prove yourself you have to prove that I'm a rapper, so you are punchline, and punchline, punchline, punchline. So, so I'm like, oh, oh shit, this nigga has already proved it. And that setup was like, it was kind of, it, it was like a butter being setup that they had, which is where I think I met Uyanga and La Vida, mm. right? At that sort of space. I think La Vida was more the social media. Uyanga mm. was the ventilation kid. I think the channel was Ventilation Kid. Um, and he was shooting stuff for that, oh, you know? Yes. And he was, he was the one the creating the content and they were pretty much running the... The, the the online internet space of 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 Bada Bing, you know, and and, and that's why sometimes I also, yeah, I mean, I didn't know what the hell this thing was. Also, you know, mm. I wasn't because I'm not in a varsity or what, I'm not shooting anything up from anywhere. I'm not I, I'm, I'm not internet where I don't see this just shit, rapping. dude. I'm just rapping. <laughs> I'm just like you know. So when I'm getting to the shows or maybe saying say Josie and I'm not in the hood because I don't see it in the hood. So the hood kind of knows La Baba Keleza. They've also kind of seen or heard word around. So I've, I have a bit more popularity outside, the, of, outside the of the hood than in the hood. You know, mm. the guys just. You know, like the fact that 
Slicker comes up and picks me up at the cribs. I'm yeah, it's like, you oh, know, shit. Yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> He's in, right? And there might be a cameo I'm doing in a music video and this. So mm. there's that. That's the word. But um, the online stuff, I'm unaware of that shit at the time. I'm like, hey, man, it is what it is. But when I get to a chosen Yabon Taman, and I mean, I'm there thinking, oh, got to meet new people, got to sit here and figure out what's going on here. Mm. And I know, yo, Quest, yo, that shit was dope, man. This like, oh, all right. Dope. And I guess yeah. that's how Shop guess, said it became the song that it became. Yeah, and Ulo Kunja, Nusi Live, I remember even the exchange. Like, oh, where, big, crucial yo, shout player out to in C the Live. Game. Yo, shout out to C Live, shout big out player. C -Live. And, and at that point, um, he even said, um, let's do a mixtape, right? Um, obviously, he's talking to Slick. I mean, he's an OG of mine. So mm. I'm, I'm, I'm the kid in and like, yo, let's do a mixtape. I'll just mix together a bunch of beats and you just rap shit on it and this, that, and the third, you know? And that's also what got out. And we gave away um, some free CDs and actual CDs uh, because I don't know if we had figured actual out. Actual CDs. Actual CDs. Kids. Yes. Yeah, there's two things in this story. I had an actual demo. Right, yes, an demo, actual demo, a in. demonstration of my abilities <laughs> in CD form. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> you know, um, crazy. Um, but yeah, um, and so we did that whole mixtape uh, with C Live, hosted by C Live, and he played. He was was DJing on YFM. I don't know if he had had a solid spot or was a guest DJ, but no nah, man, he had a solid spot. Um, so he'd always play the shit. Um, shout and, out to C and yo, and shout out to DJ Smoo also who. Fought tooth and nail to play it in YFM, dog. He was like, Yo, he'd run it back. You know how Tibo Tash plays a joint? Yeah, That's yeah. how smooth dude shop fed it. You know, and I was like, You know, and, and I barely ever met these guys, right? I'd, I'd met Khotman Sbu maybe once or twice, uh, having been around Slick and, and things mm. like that. But, but he knows Slick. Yeah, yeah. He, you know what I'm saying? He knows Slick. He doesn't but care about the kids. He's just like, Yo, this <clears throat> is insane, right? And he's just pushing that narrative. Um, I remember they even had like a big show. Um, so uh, you were even being played on radio, nigga? Bro, You bro, came up nice. You, let me, I didn't come up nice, <laughs> but, but I came up. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm actually not going to lie. I, 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 it wasn't <clears throat> nice, especially the years before that, right? Uh, but as, there, course, was a, there was course. a big change from, from Bada Bing to pre-Bada Bing. Right? It, was, mm. yeah, it was like, like okay. Oh, I'm in rooms, you know, there's like a, a, a stogie or a doomie at the time could walk in. Um, uh, the whole bloody squatter camp can walk in at any point. A zabs, you know, uh, a proverb. The excess you know, is you crazy. The excess is crazy. Even I'm like, just the I'm in this thing. So, but in, at that point, I'm also very, <clears throat> I'm in my little corner. I'm quiet. I'm not saying shit to anybody. I'm just like, you know, um, which was also raised as a problem. You know, but I'm <laughs> like, he a little too quiet, man. You, you need to get him out of his shell or something, mm. you know, because I just sit there, observe, just look and don't say shit to anybody. Keep it like, timid. From me, that's it. Nothing else. Mm. Right? I'm quiet. And the only time I started speaking was when I started seeing Yanga more often and I started seeing La Vida more often. And it was like, oh, these are the people I can kind of, because they're my age also, can kind of, or at least mm. the same age. Everyone else is a bit older and I respect and I've seen and I know. So, yeah, so And they're not know. intimidating. They also just... Yeah, they, they're in the same sort of situation. Feel, yeah. yeah, we feel it's the like, same oh, way. Okay, so it's like, yeah. uh, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, and so... Shout out to Yanga also. Yeah, yeah. And so that's how... And La Vida, do we shout him out the, or what? Yeah, how, shout out La Vida. How do Shout out, shout out. Shout out La Vida, Um... And so, mm. yeah, and that's how the thing started and started becoming Quest that we're now going. And the thing they had was, this is perfect. This is perfect. It was uh, the Sprite Hip Hoop Tour. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? It was the Sprite Hip Hoop Tour for real. Yeah. Um, By the way, I knew Sprite would come up talking to you because I, <laughs> I knew it was, oh he's been That's on this Sprite show. Yeah, like, yeah, this guy I mean, is the perfect they, guy. When, when, yo, they were in there with the pushing of hip hop back in the day. You know, they've been putting the limelight. Yeah, now they've on. even yeah, boy, they've gone they've gone even further. <laughs> I see the limelight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. um so yeah, and now there's like you know we we I'm performing everywhere, right? Mm. By everywhere I mean 
across the country. Right? I'm, I'm on a plane for the first time. I remember Crazy. my first flight was to Bloemfontein. I was, shit, there's Tito Minato, right? Who's at Bada Bing as an artist from Zulu Mall. R.I.P., right? No, 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 he's no? alive. He's alive, yeah, yeah. He's, it's he's, the he's, other... He's, he's like, alive, no. Wait. I'm not sure about... No, they're alive. Both? Yeah. Wait, which one is Tito who? Tito Minato was shortish, but it also did jam early. Uh, I mean, no, they had that joint. They had, away. Nah, Tito's alive. I was actually. Who passed away? Oh, it was the jail niggas. This is a different list oh, from yes. the jail niggas. Um, That's a different part, man. Yeah, Osh. Kunja, Osh, Lova Osh. Yeah, you're right. Oh, those um, are different from niggas. From Gumshev. Yeah, the guy oh, from Gumshev passed. But they looked alike. Who always, are those uh, niggas? Yeah, those, I've those always Gumshev. confused those two crews. Yeah, you know what? There was always that thing. Yoti, so the niggas, Tito, they were what? They were a uh, Zulu mob. Right, oh, not okay, yes, yeah, there was yes, Zulu yes, mob, yes. Uh, there was Zulu mob, and 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 so, yeah, I mentioned it because it was my there. Man, I was flying, alive, I was, <laughs> <laughs> Shit. you know, yeah. um, I was I was with him because he played like a, a very big brother role, also in 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 kind of you know making me comfortable with just being in that space, you know, uh, Tito, because he was signed to Butter Bing also, um, mm. and 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 had the group Izulumop, which I think as a group was signed somewhere else, but Tito as a solo was but a being, you know. Um, and, and that's how it was when I got there. So my first flight was, ever was to Bloemfontein, and it was in one of the smallest planes, bro. Like the worst flight of my life, right? I'm think, <laughs> let me tell you, the excitement I got versus the experience yeah. of flying, because these things just pepuga with the shit. You know, the they're just, ones, you know, man. they're turbulent, it's turbulating. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yes, yes. Dog. And, I'm, and Tito's having a conversation, he's in my ear, just telling me, Yo, he's yeah, boy, comfortable flow. with the Bana, turbulence. He's chilling, I'm here, dog. I have a drink in my hand, I'm shaking, dog. Yeah. Like, yeah, it wasn't so, yeah, and then, you know, I think that's also how word got round, got Cuesta, you know, when we started just going around, you know, it was myself, Swax, Slicker, Tito, you know, um, as in terms of the Sprite Hip Hop tour, you yeah. know, but any, ev everywhere we'd go, we'd have either in the Squatter Campus Corner, you know, No Yang, We Shoot, Tag No Vida. And you know. still just have Shab Fede this time? On the flight to Blue? No, on the Sprite Hip Hop tour, I have, the Sprite Hip Hop tour came out with a mixtape. I have a joint or two in there. Uh, one of them, Young, I really hated. It was, it was, <laughs> he really hated it, is <laughs> it? Mm. Well, we're speaking about this years later, right? and like I never understood it because I mean I get the sharp fitted things, but then you came, and you picked that underground ass just fucking <laughs> backpack or something. That's <laughs> hella <laughs> young. <laughs> you said you wanted hip hop. That's what I'm giving you. I kill beats, kill raps. Then I'm killing you. The life and time. Yanga you know, it was very. I was like, what the fuck are they Facts. doing with this guy? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are they doing with this guy? Um, and so I had those, and and I think yes, Shop Fede is out at this point, and. And we have that mixtape no see life, you know. So there's there's things that people but it's obviously close. the internet is not as great as as yeah, yeah, yeah. as being there personally. So the the impact is probably so you're being still made a new guy the, when they Yeah, see yeah, I'm you. still a new guy. I'm yeah. still I'm I'm extremely new, you know. Yeah. Um this at this point Murafe has you ain't heard the whole thing, you know. Um it's actually around the time where I met Tear Gas, right? Mm. Um this is two thousand two thousand eight, I think. Mm. I think it's two thousand eight, yeah. At the Sprite Hip Hop tour. Um and and they also had a joint in the mixtape. Um and they were still performing they was performing chants and shit. Yeah. You know, uh, it was from the first album, Shubilek Bov, I think. It's called Shubilek Bov, right? Yeah, yeah. I, they might have been performing stuff from Wafa Wafa. Oh Wafa Wafa, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, they be. might have been doing that champion song with Oh yes, with Riot, right? <clears throat> yes, yeah, yes, they might have yes, been doing you're right. Those yeah. Yeah. It was those joints. And yes, maybe Take right. You Out. Take You Out and was then, from that yeah, album? Yeah, yep, yep. I think you're right. Yeah. Mm. And then Chance obviously was being performed because of course, of course, fucking classic, classic right? Yes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, I think they were mm. on the Wafa Wafa situation. Um, and yeah, so I'm meeting the guy, but Nakona, no impact really, except I think I made an impact on my E instead because I watched an interview and they were asking them about come up rappers and my E mentioned me. Mm. At that I'm time? only met you like twice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. fine. So he was saying it from a place <clears throat> of having heard me for real and not mm. not like, yo, I'm closing now, you know? And he was like, yo, yeah, no, look, some of the coming up, upcoming guys will look out for Cresta. And I was like, fine. Yeah, yeah, now you understand. So you're bubbling at this I'm time. I'm bubbling, bubbling. And, and, and what makes me happy about, 
you know, who, who easy is like, it's not Slick saying that because Slick has to. It's not Sugar Smack saying yeah. that because Smacks has to, right? It's just out of nowhere. It's like, oh, shit, shocking. So I'm bubbling, you know, and I'm moving. And, and you know, in my head, I think I'm ready for an album. You know, of I want, course, yeah, of I want, I'm like, yo, <laughs> I've been, yeah. so like why I also mentioned Tito in the beginning was that um, when, so when I got there, with so many songs in the demo, I also made a shitload of joints while I was there. I think, you know, between anything between 30 to 50 joints, just just making them, just, you know, feel that. And Gobbs was recording me, right? Uh, Shout out to Gobbs also. Yeah, He's also Gobbs a veteran like a, in the game. Yeah, he was like, a, he was also, you know, a shaper of of, of, of everything Quest in, in the beginning, you know. Well, Cobbs worked out there, actually, yeah, back yeah, then. Yeah, That's yeah. when I met him. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, facts. Cobbs was out there, and he was the guy recording me. He was the engineer. He was, sometimes he'd drive me to a show. I remember we drove once, no, Cobbs, for like two and a half hours in Pumala, and it was just the two of us, and, you know, and we was just talking. Yeah, I swear to God. It was, like, it was so strange because... No, I think the guys were flying in from somewhere after a, a, a squad of camp gig, yeah. and then obviously said, "Yeah, but me and Amanda and so I'm and then the Cobbs were there. No, let's let's vibe, you know. Yo, so shout out to Cobbs, um, real one, real one. Uh, yeah. And so yeah, man, it's, I don't know where I'm going with the actual thing, but the come up story is pretty. Um, it's that, and then from that, I think I'm ready for an album. No, before even that, so Sprite Hip Hop tour pays, right? There, mm. There's some money going on in this thing. Shout out to Sprite. They always pay. <laughs> <laughs> they always I can attest. pay. <laughs> so, uh, so they pay. And I think um, about, I get holistically about, but in, 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 in sort of different payments. Mm. Uh, I think I get about 15K. Right. Uh, Fire. This is, this is yeah, but this is after touring the whole country. Is that you're waking up at four a.m. You well, depending on the flight and and this that and the third right. I'm told, mm. but it, shit, it's fi- it's yeah, fifteen. You're just K. a bummer, nigga from I the hood. Never, man, so come on, I mean, not 15. even. I have never outside of some. I want to master see zaga mamto and be some kundelucha and as nigga sleep by tengani call you a fan. I never had a tower to myself. I never, a tower a tower I never <laughs> especially a lamb. <laughs> I'm and too on it. It. It love me. Oh, Come on. It was insane. Right? I'm, like, oh, I'm rich. Yeah. I'm rich. I told, I told you. I told you. Him at the older way. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm I've made uh, it. Then you know, I fuck around and book a, a, a bus to Durban and I disappear. With the 15? Yep. <laughs> of course. Of I course. Come with on, the young nigga shit. shit. I mean, I, I broke off the family some things and then mm. I was like, fuck it. I'm out. <clears throat> Yeah. Young one K I'm with K Master. Yeah, I'm with K Master. Let me tell you, the reason for the trip is pretty dope. It's like, yo, we're gonna go to Durban, just work on some music, you know, link up Nama Chento or Zag. Yeah, we're gonna work. Fire, we're gonna that's fire. It was fire. But we got there, I think we recorded like two joints and everything else was just of course. we're just niggas in the hood. And then so now mind you. So you already know K Master at that time. Yeah, so K Master I met. Side? While I was at AMS, K Master mm. came in from. I'm not sure who brought K Master in, but he had come in and he was just also living in the house in, in, in at the AMS house, and oh, and we kind of we kicked it, we chilled, we linked. Mm. His name is Senzo. Was like, oh, okay, let's start there. He had there. the dopest beats at that time. Jesus, he's he was unbelievable. Yeah. Like I, I couldn't believe the things Definitely. he was doing. All of us, in fact, yeah. couldn't believe the things he was doing. I was like, yeah. what, what? But, you know, he was he had tricks, he had he things, had vibes, he had he everything, had, yeah, dog. Yeah, like he definitely. and he was so chill to just make the beat go outside and have a cigarette, you know, and yeah. just come back and uh oh, you guys don't like it, I can make another, you know. It was, it was <laughs> always that guy, you yeah. know. Um and and so yeah, so I'd I'd met him, Vele. Well, so during this whole time at AMS, I mean I was there before. Obviously I'd met the gents before he came through, but when he came through, mm. we really linked. Like um at some point he lived at the house and then, you know, mm. it was like we really, really like so sort became, of yeah, we connected. Yeah. Like you, you know, it was, it was became like, family. Yeah, big Jaya, you know. It was, it was family. It's mm. family. You know? Um and so I took family. <laughs> um to we, we, yeah, we go family, <laughs> we go to Durban. It's not the July or anything. It's, it's not the July, it's not it's just that, yo, let's you know. I'd see it, just limbo out to Durban. This is real quick. You know, we'll record some stuff. No, I'm bang it. pass. I think, no, I'm bang it takes. Oh, you pass. So I'm bang it takes. Yeah. So I'm bang it takes. At least, I save him. And at that time, Gwabai, 
uh, it was the big thing in Durban was I mean there was the there was obviously the the hip hop scene and Pat Center and things like that. Mm. But uh the wave that was beginning was the El Volvo. Uh, Ooh, the of course, is, of course. Was, and my mm. I I heard it of in course. Durban. I didn't know shit about El Volvo in, in yeah, Johannesburg. On this side, yeah, I didn't this know side sh- was sleeping. But literally when I got there, I was like and you could lit it was almost in real time. It's like <laughs> This Woo. this cab that we're in is playing other shit, other shit, other shit. Now when you have to switch to the cab, so said David, man. Now you have to so said Tegu at least. You have to switch to the cab that takes you to I think Sainto Zoom, I okay, master, you know. That takes you there. It, it's El Volvo. So literally got exposed wow. as I landed. Yeah. Like El Volvo one way, you know, which is pretty insane. Uh, but yeah, the whole thing was to work out there. It was to clan and about uh, Abdus, uh, Maraza. Legends. And we did kind of meet and, you know, um, in many places, but a lot of the time we didn't get to record a lot of stuff. Mm. You know, um, I know we recorded some stuff with just that, oh, Maraza, we recorded stuff, no Zago, we recorded stuff. And, and this just even that before. was a duo, ne? Yeah, Those Deza, Raza no Maraza. Deza. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out uh, to with Just that, um, Deza. <laughs> <laughs> they had this story that joint. Durban, yeah. That Durban scenery, like as far as hip hop at that time, was yeah. like uh, the heart yeah, of hip hop. That's exactly why yeah. I needed to go to Durban. I, right? I respect that. That's like, crazy. You are cultured. And not gonna, yeah, but because also I have K Master. K Master's right? your Ulu bridge. Yes, father, yes. I'm like, yes. Uzago has this joint. Paga misu seven ni mangbona kambi strati on. So I put the pili, the the put the kini. Because Master Danke and Vesu you know? and who was the there was who was the nigga who was Dog, the biggest was, nigga? It's just I forgot. Oh, Abdus Nai. Uh, uh, with the punchlines. There was also there was the nigga who started that whole wave. What was his name? Damn, bro. Damn. Hey. Oh. It was just a lot of whatever dicks, his name you know? was, yes. and, and and they had the culture going and that bed center thing. <clears throat> I even performed at some point at bed center. I think a joint were just done, type of situation. Yeah. I was there. But now the fact that we had a great time in Durban, of it, course, uh, recorded some shit, made made some did lasting you relationships. Did you finish the fifteen or did you at least come back with five or something? I'm coming when back. There's no back. fifteen though. What fifteen? Are you the entire. About? F- what are you talking about? There's no fifteen here. <laughs> We are the Maluk Tibeta. I pay you fifty. I'm selling Maluk Tibeta. Now I think so. But I'm still a Konale Tibeta. I think it's like a new Konale Tibeta. It was a great time. It was a great time, right? Mm. But now the fuck up is that I ain't say shit at the crib. Damn. Right. And at the crib, I mean, but a being, right? I, I. Oh yeah. But like you're an employee. I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs> Dog, I'm, you know, I need to be reachable and you know mm. fetchable and you know there's, there's, mm. there's things going there's things in place you have to be a professional you understand me so mm. now it hits but I was like oh shit might be terrible and, and, and the first person who calls me well not the first person who calls me the first person whose call I answer mm. <laughs> like, first better. person who's reached you Who's reached me? Also, mind you, I never phoned throughout this whole time because I was about to ask, Lucy, but I felt no. But I got the phone from the fifteen. Right? <laughs> I mean, first thing I did was buy a phone. Right? Oh, okay, okay, uh, okay. At least. And and so I had a phone, but I don't think I was accustomed to having a phone. So that shit was just there. Right? It was like mm. fuck it. Um, and and the first call I answered, or at least one of the first calls was uh, Naves, DJ Naves, who was also out there at uh, Butter Bing Ventilation. You know, um, and he was like, just live it. He's angry. He's mad at me. He's saying there's so much I've missed. But he's saying it in sort of a, you know, he's big bro in me. In, bro in, in, in like, yeah. But here's how, what you can, the guys are angry also. There's this, there's that. Mm. When I'm a little figure, my figure, figure ganja approach it like this. Like, I'm going to make a star, and I think, now I'm going to take a look at that. Yeah, yeah, you know, smooth yeah. it out for you. Shout out to Naves, man. He's a good guy. Naves is a good guy. I think guy. the guys were done, especially Slicker. I think he was like, ah, fuck. Yeah, Slicker doesn't that, that, play. That, that, <laughs> Slicker doesn't have that time, right? It's, <laughs> yeah. And that time he's, like, Slicker is like, like this, mm. like he can he can pick things up from the side, but when he's focused on something, he go, so he's he's slicker, he's slickering mm. stuff. He's, he has plans for this ventilation thing, but a being and this. Que- but if this quested thing falls out of this thing, he doesn't have time for that. Doesn't shit. have time to kind of pick it back up, right? Mm. Um, Smacks is also very, 
you know, uh, approachable and relaxed and kind of will understand you, you know. And and I had the conversation with him first, you know, among three gangs of police. You know, and it was at a music video shoot for Anna Smax's joint uh, right before he dropped the album or after, I'm not sure. I think it was after he dropped the album. Mm. And and yeah, so I'm boy I got police with them, because I'm told that throughout this whole time. And, and like you were gone for what a week? Though. About but almost a month, about three weeks. Yeah, Damn. No, about three weeks or so. Yeah, to is a fifteen, <laughs> but you must. <laughs> yeah, it needed you must some. And the flights then. Right now, fifteen could be one trip somewhere. You, you know. Yeah, but then it, it, it was fifteen. You know. Mm. Um, and I wasn't also. Eating it alone. It was the song, you know. And not much enough, there's contributions yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I'm not out there with you young Neil and a You just really the nigga, but everyone also is here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But also, <laughs> I'm not there as the nigga with the 15. I'm just there as a nigga who can be here. So mm. I, it looks like I, I I I have a bit more because I made the trip. So yeah, I must yeah. be prepared for what's gonna happen, so I can pay my way around it. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, but yeah, and then hey, finally work our way back into sort of. Um, a trusting position again because that also takes a while to kind of get back mm. in and um, in the end um, and I think we then start working on an album you know um, mm. and Nakona with this album I'm making most of the joints in, in the hood now um, mm. because also I take that as like a way to kind of shit I gotta prove myself again because jeez mm. I fucked up right? oh yeah you went uh, away to just go yeah. hey, I need to <laughs> so impress I went to the hood yeah, I was recording in Togoza they shout out to Capstone and um, I was recording at Capstone um, studios in Togoza sure and um, yeah I'd walk literally from which is like about an hour walk Right. Mm. Yeah, walk there. Yeah, because when you say everything. walk, literally these days they talk about five minutes. No, Niggas no, no, don't no, walk no, an no, hour no, anymore. An hour, dog. They hit an Ubers, hour, these like kids, the walkers, nigga. Are, yo, these. I know they these hit kids Ubers, will go. These yo, kids. <laughs> it's insane. We used, we yo, used to dog. walk like that. Dog, I and it was normal hour, every day. Mm. Come on, walk there and back. Normal to embark. It was fine. It was like it wasn't even. Oh, times are hard. Let's walk. It was just well. Let's walk. What else is there to do? I don't have a car. What are you gonna do? <laughs> and I wanna go. Yeah. Um and so yeah, and I and I came back with what I thought was the album and and a good eighty percent of it was. Um and then, you know, I got also introduced to some other like Amin and them, like different producers and we kinda worked out what I had into this thing and and so, you know, special request was born. Uh, yeah. This is now 2010. Yeah. Where's Nota when you go away? I have to find this out because the <laughs> of the amount of credit um, is taken. So wait, when you go away to do your Punishment album, which ends up being Special Request, did you go away with him? No, no. No, he's not there. So it's no. just you in the hood and the niggas who yeah, make with a the, beat. With Special Request, I mean, I, I, I knew the guys. I, I knew Young, I knew Nota, but we... we it, it, we're still not close to any sort of level, you know. It was like, oh, okay, you know. Yeah, you don't take them home with you. But no, no, it was. They like, are your colleagues. Yeah, yeah, it was that, you know, <laughs> in 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 2010, and I think sort of 2011 ish. Then it started. So at the whole of special request, there was no, there was not a lot of involvement from um, anyone outside of. Uh, you know, the you people and the I met beat makers. Yeah, it was really just that. It was me and the beat makers and everything. I think uh, from 2011, I will take that moving <clears throat> from take that, um, which was 2011, I think. This is when we sort of established sort of a, oh, okay, so, okay, see, because I, I think at that point, the internet's not booming. There's, um, you know, there's, there's like things that, Work mm. Facebook and all those things, right? Yeah, yeah. So they almost take um, the the lead in terms of where the company is going in terms of Butterbean, right? Yeah. Well, not the lead necessarily as in they were placed in the lead, but you can t they have the newer ideas. They, they understand a certain mm. platform better than anyone here. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, and so that's when they started even being Nota more visible in my life. Nota definitely made sure to tell us that. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he wouldn't <laughs> he miss that. Yes, made yeah, sure to yeah. let us know that. He knew better than everybody in the building <laughs> <laughs> what to do with the socials. I knew nothing about the socials. I knew nothing mm. about the internet. And 
And Vela, this is obviously coming from a different sort of background that didn't have these things. You know? Of course, like yeah. I said, Udon was the first one to have a computer. This was like a year before that, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so, yeah. so you know. Um, so you come back with eighty percent of special request. Yeah, I'm coming back with like eighty percent of special requests, and we make, well, but we made changes to even that eighty percent. You know, yeah. um, when because there's things now that we have. To, Yo, where the separates? What the fuck are separates? Yeah. What is that? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Here's the song. What are we separating? <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? Here's the song, here are the vocals. I've put you know, everything the beat, together. And then, uh, Jesus. Um, and then some of the stuff we c- couldn't trace back. Uh, well, um, it, it looks, you know, like niggas just had beats. Or wherever we could find seps to, okay, bring me the project. The guys will make seps. Yeah, well, um, and, and that's how we kind of, oh, those are what seps are. And mm. kind of we learned as we went, you know. I learned as I went, and, um, and then some of the beats that we couldn't find seps too. Um, in fact, some of the beats that I brought in were used beats that I didn't even know were used. <laughs> yeah. I found a beat That's how the in a movie. In the hood play. Yeah, I found it. <laughs> I was watching Slum Dog Millionaire, dog. Uh, I was watching Slum Dog <laughs> Millionaire. I heard my shit. <laughs> Here, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, oh, butter being working extra we hard. This is oh now, shit. Yeah. Oh, we're up. <laughs> Some <nine. laughs> we're doing big fitness. <laughs> oh, oh, dog. Shit. Only to find that that man just took that beat as is and said, nah, the beat dog and I rap. Oh, <laughs> niggas were t- but like, at that time also. The, but also, this is how young hip hop was. This must put into perspective yeah, that this is how yeah, young hip hop yeah. was. It wasn't really. We were naive enough to just believe a nigga saying he produces, yeah, he but produced. a lot of niggas were no, scamming and downloading yeah, beats exactly. and just exactly. feeding so, them to and, niggas and, and saying and they made them. For it. Yeah, like, say, I'm so I made guy, this like, beat. You know? Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, okay. You know. Well, obviously, but I would pay. But uh, you know, so this man was scamming. You yeah, know, whoever made that Finesse. beat, and 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 we're scamming the right guy to scam. You know? the, I'm yeah, the right the man who I knows mean, that thing. He, first, he'll appreciate the beat. Mm, the beat is and, fire, and he's gonna kill it, kill that shit, right? Murder that shit. Come on, um, it's gonna make the album. I'm getting paid. Yeah. He doesn't bet on the fact that I'm gonna watch fucking Slum Dog Millionaire. <laughs> at all, at all. <laughs> now watch Slum Dog Millionaire. I'm hearing it. I'm like, ah, no man choose into their father, dog. <laughs> I know like my ah, yeah, 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 yeah. No <laughs> way. No, man. Mm-hmm. You know. Now, I want to turn and announce this deal. Now we're waiting for the. See, son. Straight to. In fact, we hated the fucking movie at the end of that shit, right? <laughs> I was like, and it's nothing against the movie. The movie yeah. was amazing. It was going well until that moment. Until it's like, <laughs> now we all fast forward to the thing. And stronger still got done. We're in a computer. Mm. <clears throat> and press play. And we all go, hey, it's the you beat. Know, Stop man. that thing. Play the beat. It's the fucking same shit, you know? But, mm. but yeah, so we had to change that when we're finalizing some of the parts here. As a special request, you know, um, mm. and and yeah, we drop that and 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 there's impact, you know, uh, mm. but there's like. Concha, what was your single there? Shoot straight to start yeah. Um It was uh, I did we dropped like four singles off of that album. It was mm. Stomp. One, two, three, was seven, your first? Come on now, you shot it somewhere out there, <laughs> downtown <laughs> by <laughs> garage. Yeah, there. <laughs> yeah. I'm with out there with a homie of mine, who are in Luvo, who para, who peggy. Jesus Christ, it was just the old yeah, all your good niggas. Yeah, you know, we're like. So oh, now shit. imagine for me, I just watched a couple of your videos here. I'm like, okay, it's guys. Okay, I saw a it's couple so YouTube big videos. Big. <laughs> Heard him on YFM or something a little bit. He was there with Slicker. Now he has a video. I'm like, hey, this guy <laughs> this he might be this moving. Thing. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm. But also there's, I mean, I have at this point very, what maybe then was childish expectations, right? I'm, I'm looking for immediate stardom. Yeah. Of I'm course, looking for the shit. We go yeah, boom I mean, of this. Come on, I've been making some cameos. Like everything you're saying, you're, they know me online. I've been doing the shows. As soon as we drop, I'm, I'm rich and we big. Mm. And it don't quite work out like that, you know. Um, it I, never does. It by never the way. does. Yeah, I mean, I could go. Yo, maybe <laughs> I didn't make the right music, or it doesn't fucking matter, right? It just mm. didn't. It just. 
doesn't fucking matter. It's just blow part up of off the your story. First song. Yeah, That's it's just, just not part how of the it goes. shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like, and if you do, you have to be very worried about the rest of your career. Right? If you do, it's your last one. That's my problem. <laughs> <laughs> the first one is boom. If it went then the next one is the boom. First one? And the next one is boom. That means, you know, you've already set it up. There's no yeah. um, upward trajectory. You're only you know? going. Um, so I mean I but I didn't care as long as I was rapping, I was still in the space, I was it didn't fucking matter, right? And, and you're a rapper. I'm a rapper. That's I'm you known for it. that. Yeah. I'm I'm I go to the hood, I'm a rapper. Mm. I go anyway, I'm a rapper. Mm. I'm I have a different name from the name you're I was Cuesta born now. in. I'm yeah. Cuesta. Dog. Some shit I made up. People who don't I am know that, you. You know what I'm saying? I they know me mm. as this yeah. thing that I'm so shit, this shit is going. It's you know happening. what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. Um, so I ain't mad at nothing. And you're satisfied, of course. I'm satisfied as well. Well, no, of course it's well, not, not. Yeah, it's not. But, but you, you get to accept that, oh, it doesn't, or it mm. normally doesn't work out. Like, Gives you this, more this, reason this, to chase it. Yeah, I'm like, okay, shit, I'll do better. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, y'all don't believe me? It's on my knees, you know? Um, and yeah, so we dropped that album. And, um, and Stomp. Yeah, like I said, we had First Stomp. Single. We had. Uh, dun, 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 oh, then you were making the Five FM music. Yeah, I was making the Five. <laughs> bro, now. at some point, on, I had now. about I had about six joint from that album, six or five joints from that album, playing on different types <laughs> on of radio different... stations. Watch you out understand now. me? I Watch had Stomp on now. the Y FM. I had um, um, Flavor, Flavor on the um, uh, Highfield and. Um, uh, well, 947 and 5 FM. Mm. Um, I had Ibapemi, a song called Ibapemi, yes. on Ukozi and the other state and Metro in them. Yes. I had Flash It on Met. Bro, this was off of the first album, right? It was like, so, Going crazy. so as much as I feel like, yeah, I thought I should have been like the best there is now, you know? Mm. Um, there, was, there was big success with that shit, right? Yeah. Um, in terms of just even commercially, just the the vibe, the availability of the music and mm. the, vers- the, the the showcasing of the versatility in the boy yeah. was, was pretty out there, you know? Um, and that's another thing that you, I'm seeing it now as you're telling the story and the way you're telling it that there are different types of win, wins. Like, there's a, I got a hit win and there's a, I became a staple artist in this yes. industry yes. win. Because yes. there, there's also a chance of putting out a song and then shout more. Yeah, and like course. nothing, yeah. absolutely yeah. nothing yeah. happens. It's like, yes, you didn't have a big hit, but you became a staple in the industry. In the industry, yes. yes. There became, was a thing. There was, yo, you can't remove this anymore. You, well, you can't name. act like it never came. Mm. This name, you know, you can't just it's like erase now we know it. Cuesta. It's there. Yes, you're you know? part of the hip hop community, bro, and, and it, in 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 all in in its <clears throat> glory, right? Because also we're pioneering. There's not a lot of um, there's not at the time at least not a lot that's happening uh, for SA hip hop artists on Five FM. Yes. Right. Um, yes. On on nine four seven. Um, there's not a lot of that, and then there's mm. this guy who's got like this. Yo, shout out to Beats.com. Who will it be? Who made that beat? Dun, 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 yeah, yeah. For the white boy beat. You know. Yeah. It's like so naturally for a guy who you know just comes up and is a punchline rapper. That piece like ah, nah, nah. Tell yeah. me something harder, right? But I never was like that. Like, I was like, in fact, sometimes I rapped on beats because I felt. I didn't want to disappoint the producer who thought the beat was fire. So <laughs> <laughs> it was like, let me just, just rap yeah, on this like, thing. And then that shit would turn out pretty cool at that's the end fire. of the door. You know, like, oh shit, okay. Yeah, and I that think that's how also I started. Yeah, that's yeah. how I started kind of messing around with shit. You that's know? fire. Because of my. Yeah. And. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know I span the dog, fine, it's cool. So so it, it sounds like I was trolling when I asked about La Vida's contribution. It's because he has claimed uh, credit for your being that diverse in your musicality. He has claimed having been the guy who it's his idea that we should make this for this type of radio station and that it was all I mean, a plan. La Vida will come in a room with that sort of yes. narrative and conversation like with like <clears throat> a planned song or a planned target market. Yes. Sh- shit that I'd like, you know, I don't want to hear. I'm in the studio. I mean, you know this. Like, yes. You would know the same thing. It's like you're not necessarily thinking about the end consumer. You're just thinking about is this a dope product? This is fire. Right? Is this fire? Mm. That's it. Whoever thinks it's fire, that's cool. We'll go to them afterwards. It's, mm. But uh, at that point, uh, with special request, 
there was not a lot of involvement. Just, yeah. just maybe also just given the fact that maybe he, you know, Doba Biggie shoot best in Azani to that extent. Yeah, I didn't even really know you like that. Yeah. But was, yeah, it was, I think, because I think it was a lot of people, so I don't even know why he wouldn't be in the studio, why he would. Like, I, I would just, you know, I was just putting together an album. Yeah. Um, that's why I think until Boma, I think the involvement started with Take That moving forward. And know? that was uh, first single for second album, no? Yeah? It didn't make an album, it was just a single. Uh, that was, was supposed to be, that but was didn't with, make uh, it. No, it was made after. Oh, it was one of the loose songs. No, it was made afterwards. Uh, when we actually in Joba Shoot, after that, after special request, mm. we actually started going in the studio together. Myself, No Tiny Yana, we just yeah. started going in the studio, we just making joints. And, yeah, you know, and mm. and so from that point on, then it carried on from from that. There. So he kept yeah. being the guy who would kind of try and target a thing, you know, yeah. or target a market. Uh, but with special request, it was just. Like I said, it was just a natural thing for me to kind of go, I'll rap on that, I'll rap on that. Fine. And there was also a song called Pump It. Like I got, we got sync deals off of that shit. Yeah. Like, it was, Come on like, now. Dog, this your it was first insane. album? This is my first album. Come on. You know what I mean? Um, Watch so, out, sir. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and you're the I may be underplaying this shit, yes. actually. Come on, I may be downplaying this shit. This shit you're downplaying it a lot. My come out was pretty hard, actually. Like hard, that was nigga. Hard. That's why I'm <laughs> telling you, yeah, what it looked like from my perspective yeah. because you obviously you were being I'm it. in it I'm like yo yeah. and I'm still there's somewhere to go so I'm not there like, so I don't see how far I've come mm. you know because I'm not Hemothy yet you know I'm like you feel me? I need to be Hemothy yeah but look what you've done Hemothy. shut the fuck yeah. up I'm going there <laughs> you know exactly um w- and you're also the firstborn of our generation sort of are you or is Casper because by firstborn, I mean the kids that were brought in by the cosigns because that's what happened with our generation. Yes, yes. X and I, yeah, uh, uh, Tegas, you, yeah. Slicker, Casper's yeah. Double H. Yeah. Those were, we, that's how all of us came in. You came yeah. first, yes? And let's not forget, there was also um, um, Red Button Pro. Red Button Pro, Red, oh my yeah, goodness. Yeah, oh, such yeah. bless for me, so yes. So I think, I think. He's uh, the fit child <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah um, i don't know I, so i don't know when the relationship between um Khrutman, double h and and cast started or when it came out i don't know who Wasn't would be the first but Tsibam at that point our first introduction to casper no then i was i was already you were already yeah, shop yeah, fed was, and all was, that yeah, yeah so first born i yeah. can give you ne? but then you have to think about okay but maybe that we lose it because there's no cosign right because what keenan do? Uh, rest in peace was always oh, rest you know from his yeah, first born yeah, and he birthed yeah. himself <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what a lord <laughs> what a lord it yeah, was like it was oh, from the group he to himself, his solo yeah. to he birthed himself literally with his own you know, colored uh, so, boy <laughs> <laughs> you know, what a lord so there was that before I mean I was watching even now there's quite a few dog even um, when I was getting in there was Glitterati and Tito and El Tito you know it was right before when they, the, when they, had beef, they don't count right as our me. generation don't right? they count no, the generation of before I, well I heard of Glitterati when I was now working with Abu Slick maybe it's because also the music didn't reach um, the hood mm, or whatever or the okay. internet or wherever the music was available at damn they uh, kind of have to count as our generation yeah ne? yeah 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 I, I, I think so I mean I hope this doesn't offend them if they think if they think no man come on we're from before uh, but I, so I, I, I'd heard of before well. I JR get on I got on I heard of Tito um, but when I really heard Everything in that beef and with 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 AK and all that shit, that was like yeah. cultural moments. And I was still trying to, and they were already like the biggest conversation in fucking hip hop, right? Um, at that yeah, point, yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? True, so, true, true. so I'll give it to them even before I got here. You know, Glitterati as a as a whole, and this obviously includes but, Umax. Yes, definitely before me. Um, yes, so that's why for me, I would say Glitz Gang as a gang 
Before our generation, Tido as a solo, our generation. Yes, yes, yes. that's yes, yes, exactly. Okay, yes. I'd accept. Yes, you're very right. Yes, you're very right. Yes. Sir. Okay, that works it yes, out. Yes, yeah. that works out. Yeah, that makes it work out. So perfectly. yeah, you're still f- okay. Forms firstborn, but you're firstborn with the pubses. You're the one coming in from having a pubs who's saying, okay, yeah, yeah, I have a young and that. That, that can I'm do saying this, that can, yeah. is really the one. Yeah, I think I, I, I then maybe that 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 will be the fire. same. You know, that's that's fire. You know, to the first born. Yes, no? <laughs> <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> that's insane. Mm. Uh, and, uh, so yeah, but it, it, I mean, shit, it comes now. I have to take it with a whole lot of responsibility of being a first born, because I put that same responsibility on my own brother. So <laughs> come on shit, now, I gotta first born it out. I don't yeah. know how how well I've been doing with that. You yeah. did pretty well, didn't you? Lead the way with them shot your wave also. That's which not a wave, which we'll gentlemen. <laughs> gentlemen must not be kidded. Them shato is not a wave it's or a wave <laughs> or a level. Not not that it's not great or but it's not something you should aim to do because it's oh it's a path, rite of passage. Don't fucking do that shit. <laughs> Don't do it like that. Do it because something spoke to you inside and you felt yes. you couldn't live any day further without knowing that you can live the rest of your life with this person. It has nothing yes. to do with who did it before yes. or please Pets. don't do that stupid shit. So I, I hate that one. Wasn't he the first one to get married? No, I'm not. In hip hop, who fucking cares? Right? <laughs> but you did kind of start them shut away also. What does that mean? For in that? Our, what does that mean? In our like, generation, weren't you the first married married rapper? In our generation? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so you started them Am I not the wave. only still? No, X is a married man. Ah, yes. Which is why it's a wave. <laughs> <laughs> respectfully. <laughs> it's not a wave. I'm playing but, uh, respectfully. It started, but it's, then X got married. La Vida then got married. Yeah. But it wasn't a wave. It's like, a, a, I guess maybe there's... It doesn't maybe like there is a wave. <laughs> maybe there is a time where you go, it's time, right? But that's personal to everybody. And it's different with everybody. You, I could... You guys kind of yeah, we kind of followed each other, didn't up, we? Yeah. It's almost like we had the conversation. I know, mm. you so you like, yeah, and, and, <laughs> and none of that shit happened. And though, then even cash was no more. Like, yeah. Yeah, I was like, hey, the niggas. Yo, shout out to Keith. The niggas are saying we must get married. Then. No, no, the dog. For me, it was literally, and I keep saying this because I, I never even fucking proposed, right? It was like, oh, bo. a fuck it, I swear. Oh, bo. And and maybe ish, maybe the stars ain't saying it, but oh, I didn't. Well, I didn't go down on one. I, I did it the right, but bring it up with my dude. Did it the hood, nigga? Oh no, the culture. Yeah. Okay, of course. Because I'm bigger than I'm not going to go away. I'm 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 going to go away. What a lord! <laughs> That's how I say. And then only yeah, after that do we okay. Hey, dance with thing. Uh, maybe engagement rings or what? what? Oh yeah. yeah. But it was already happening, so I didn't yeah. come up with a box and you know, kind of. It was none of that. So that's what I'm saying. It was Fire. never a a thing of. It was like. Why wouldn't I? I don't. I don't. I can't find reasons not to. So mm. fuck it. I'm um, do it. I mean, Does it make you feel like it was responsibility more than romance? Then not going down on one knee and doing, or you just not that yeah, influenced I mean, by we, Hollywood. When we have the very honest conversations with the, with with yo in the crib, it 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 it, it it's that I think because mm. it's hard to think back at the exact moment to kind of think what was going through my head and heart and feelings. Mm. Uh, but I think a lot of it. Vele, I, I kind of knew I was going to do the right thing The right thing in terms of marriage from a, a while before even I was able to. Mm. You know, I, I, I made it. was it. a goal of yours. Yeah, it was a thing I'd yeah. set up for myself personally with you at some point. Mm. So, yeah, but, because of think, the broken home motion, of course. There's a broken home motion <clears throat> and, and there's, yeah, not wanting to repeat that cycle mm. and then... And 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 then, which I have to honestly say, as time goes, there's like an unfucking dying love, like that's unexplainable for a human being, right? Uh, be it both the mother and the child, right? It's, it becomes fucking uh, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> it becomes fucking ah fuck it, you know. And, yeah. But that 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 but it, it that does, is time. Yeah, it yeah, does that, come with that. Yeah. yeah, that and then it's like 
so every single time it makes more sense. And and you know a lot of things that make you make it more sense is every time you fuck up and how you feel mm, inside. Yeah, yeah. How you yeah. F- how how you feel here. Yeah. Na Even when when you chin niggas and they laughing at you and and you, you they trying to you know make you feel okay and mm. trying to crack jokes about it and it you actually it feel like you are in people. trouble it's it's like, you are dying hey, you are, yeah, my you know? life mm. i'm and fucking my life up yeah yeah mm. and you kind of realize oh shit maybe my life needs to be one mm. you know instead of me feeling like this Dope. all the time so you yeah. were stepping up as a man <clears throat> yeah I was stepping up as a man and and well what as what i thought was a man you know um mm. this that, like i say again it's not a step that makes you a man but it it's what i thought i needed to do from my own sort of it as my from my own influence of self and maybe again not wanting to repeat cycles and from broken home sitch and yeah. and from you know broken marriage sitch and from <clears throat> you know broken bonds of what was promised to be unconditional love with of so course, many conditions yeah. and, and with this know. language that you now respect and love so much y- you so understand? you're not breaking yeah. any vows <laughs> i'm like nah <laughs> 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 you know but at least we'll mm. do our best here man and mm. and yeah so it's been like that so that thing wasn't a wave it's because it was never a discussion from before with literally anybody outside of when i really needed to do it and it was time to kind of go pay. Yeah. You know, it was really very personal. In fact, because there's a tax, you heard him said he had to go pay. You had to pay. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yes. You have to go, I mean, I mean, you have to go do the right thing. Maybe call, saying paying is, is disrespecting <laughs> cultural shit. <laughs> but, you know, you have to go, you have to go, you know, make the pops feel like, you know, you're, you're a guy that's about it. I think it's more it. of a homage Yeah, it's a homage. It's a shout out. It's a, yeah, it's a, it's a respect. You raised me one. Appreciate it. You're, you know, you're a real one for raising this one. Mm. Um, and you know, shout out to your efforts and your works and you know. It's, also, you and earn also, your respect. It's also a show, yeah, of mm. the fact that I'm worth you, a I'm, certain amount of respect, you mm. know, from you. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, and my Georgia, you know, and I'm here to put everything back and a little bit more, you know what I mean? The, yeah, yeah. Just to kind of. And know. I'm making your daughter a, you know I mean? a household woman. Like, she's not just in the streets doing whatever. Yeah, like, I I'm mean. Putting well, respect on her name. Like, yes, in terms of, yeah, in yeah. terms of the culture and everything, yeah. you know. But uh, um, also with that, it was never. I mean, I will tell you right now, I don't, I don't, I don't want. Someone's gonna fucking sit in the crib and you know shine my shoes. Uh, I, yeah, I don't, I don't want that fucking shit. You don't need a man. She knows that shit. No, I don't. I don't, mm. I don't need a mom. You know? <laughs> like, yeah. you've I, got a mom. Yeah, I'm like, I mean, and you can afford a maid, a couple. I'm sure. Yeah, so I need someone with a life, a human a personality, <laughs> a, a, a feeling, an attitude, a, you know, some things that are annoying, some things that are do- like a new <clears> human being, a full on yeah. fucking functional human being. You yeah, know, and you know, we got way more. That reminds that. me of the fact that I was there when you guys started dating, somewhere in the mix of that. Yeah, mm. yeah, and I, I was I, I didn't want it known. I actually knew her before you. Yeah, you, yeah. I, I've no, I knew that you knew, mm. right? Um, and in fact, I knew that from the Durban situation and whatever the fuck. I'm like, I'm the dancing. I'm in my head. I was always. I, it's too soon to jol, or it doesn't. I mean, we're all fucking niggas, and we remember when we lived in Bryanston at one point, and yeah. we'd all be just in the crib just and just chilling, chilling yeah, yeah. and nobody gave a fuck. Because that's about when it. y'all started. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah facts, facts. <laughs> that's really when it was yeah. starting. It was like ah, this is over here, chola, and that's what you did. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't hold. No, back. what I'm saying is that silently was us chola, man. We'd bring a jump piece. Yeah. So, I'd, I'd, but also your lady is not a playful lady. No, of she course not. She stands her ground. Mm-hmm. She's the one. She can. Yeah, she's the one to say yo. You're not just gonna be eating these chicks <laughs> uh, without any commitment. Of, and and but you see, those are some of the things I respect generally in in mm. just in human beings generally, but most importantly her. You know, because I guess human beings don't know me like that, and I don't have to live with human beings mm. for the rest of my She's life. She's like, yeah, you and yeah. your question shit is fine, but no, but I I won't lie to you. There was a big reluctance in starting what we have now. I remember the it reluctance. Was, it was like a fear, in fact, uh, especially on her side. It wasn't, so it wasn't even like, I want this before. This. It was like, 
yo, ya sabe. You know, it was like, it was like real fear, you know, and and mm. and maybe that's why some things took took time, and also, but you also get, you need to get to a certain position, or a certain position of capability to be able to do that, because you don't just decide, yo, let me get married, let me start a family, but mm. when we decided to have our firstborn, it was, we had nothing really, literally after that we went on THT. Yeah, we were on yeah. THT when. We'd go, you know, we'd steal pregnant. time. Yeah, yeah, no, when she, f when she was, a, when she had just given birth, because we THT was December, remember? Uh, she had given oh, birth yes. about two months. She, so had we, just, she had just given was, birth, and then we went oh, to THT. Shit, yes. And then we'd peep, we'd steal some time to kind of go to, remember, we'd park outside there, because we're not allowed inside, and she'd come out with baby, and I'd hold her for two seconds, and, you know, play with her a little bit and take her back inside, but... Uh, but that was the grind. That was during oh, yeah, the grind. We and saw all that them shit. in Durban during THC. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went to go pay a visit there, guy one. And like I say, Azana wasn't getting his clean. Mm. She had to bring the kid out a little bit because the right thing hadn't been done yet. And I, and when I when I finally met the time, I, I told him, I ain't a boy yet. Yeah. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. Chell. If anything is a boy. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk yeah, you know, yeah, and, and I had to and, tell and them at the my right girl's thing. place. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. yeah. I was dropping Gana. off the the youngins ones, the young and yeah, yeah, the good thing. The young and I was like, like and when the yo, I'm yeah, going clean, I'm clean. Mm. Yeah. So, I know, yeah. so, so it was one of those things. I mean, but you see, that also fascinates me. It's like I, you know, when it feels like you have a life outside of the. The whole quest of shit, it's it, it, like I love that. I love that there's a whole existence that that doesn't have to be, you know, proven by a number of RTs or a number of yeah. downloads or a number. That's a just, it's rigid. just, yeah, it's just is. It's just a life that just is. I don't, I could just be, you know, mm. and nobody cares how many, you know, hits it got or what, what. It's just dad's home, you know, or, mm. you know. My baby's home, or whatever the fuck. You know? The fact that there's a life like that that exists, with the fact that there's a quest thing, is probably the the one thing I look at and I go, "That's probably the great achievement, if ever there was one, was to kind of be in a situation where they both exist." Um, this this one bit that I'm learning, which is dad husband, and mm. this one bit that I'm seizing that, which is Cuesta and, Come and, on and all now. this shit. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. You know, so it kind of keeps going. It's like life doesn't stop, you know, regardless. Oh. You, know what I mean? you sound so much better when you talk about this shit. I don't even want to take you back to the music, but <clears throat> okay, so because I took you away from your second album when you're starting with Take That, that is just before you become a superstar, no? Quite, quite years before. Years before, yeah. ne? Oh, because you my finished. That's why that. I say my come what up. What else was, was there my on beginning that was pretty dope, and so if you look at it deeply, like like mm. we were saying about these singles and these songs and these sync deals, and yeah. and I think we got a Channel Loan nomination also, which we lost, of course, but. You know, it was a like special a, request. Yeah, either a channel o or a summer or something. There was, there was, there was a nomination of. Wait, it might have been a summer, right. or was that second album? No, the second album with the summer nomination. Second album is what? Dakar, the first one, which we lost also. So it, it what probably was, was that vid that you shot there in the streets downtown? That's first album, no? That's first album. That's special request. That might have been a summer right. nomination. Might have been a summer nomination, yeah, right? Yeah, I remember mm. seeing yeah, boy, if you there's a the person summers. to ask about that, love it again. Yeah, you know, he know, he's got all that. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so I'm not sure about w w what it was. I'm but sure you know, the people are so. sure they've seen him talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> so... Uh, Mm. But it, you know, it's, it's never things I look at. It's like I'm saying, I'm trying to get to Himothy. So it's like yeah. everyone has to kind of tell me, "Oh, look how." Now that I, as every time I talk about, it, I'm like, "Oh shit, oh shit, mm. oh shit," you know. Um, but yeah, so we did that, and then we did the second album, which was also nominated for a bunch of awards. But um, the big breakthrough of that one was. Um, boom shakalaka, right? Uh, that was uh, that was the boom shakalaka kind of. Okay, shit, because it, in anything I'd done prior, which was, I think, the, the whole attempt with Take That, mm. right? because like I said, me, you play a beat, I'll try my best to do what I can on it. 
Um, but the attempt was to kind of get in the clubs because at this point, uh, hip hop DJs are like killing shit. You at this, know? Yeah, at this point, we're friends with those people. Yeah, yeah, you know, you're capital. trying to be in the club. We're doing you're trying to get icon played in the club. You know what I'm saying? Teams, <laughs> RIP, he's going you know crazy. What, with, with what the was that? Sunday stay fresh. Airless, or stay fresh also. Sundays, yeah. was it? Stay fresh Sundays, Airless. It was Stay Fresh, and it was the head honcho ones. Oh, yes, right? yes, um, yes. And, and then there was also there was involvement in Airless, yes. I think, Fire, you know, yeah. Um, and we are the kids at that time. Yeah, yeah. so I'm trying and to get in the We club. were not satisfied performing all goodbye and them <laughs> shits in the club. It's like, yo, we trying to have like... Turn this fucker up, you know? Yeah. Like I remember that one that joint, time. not the joint yeah. they know and they'll go, oh yeah, we like so that we too. Like this song. We're trying to yeah, yeah. turn it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, uh, so I think that was really the, the, the motion at that time. Even would take that and then boom shakalak. And I mean, I, I know there was like a whole... Now this is... The beginning of uh, heavy involvement, uh, La Vida, yeah. yeah, right. Um, even because we had a whole thing where we're giving away free songs every Monday for, I think for seven or eight weeks or whatever. Mm. And, and one of the first joints, really. yeah, 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 yeah. One of the first joints of that was fucking boom shakalak. Yes, right. it was. Uh, yeah, that was created the right. rally. Yeah, we talk say, I think maybe let's do this let's every week because it was also. I think it was the beginning of, oh, not the beginning, well, maybe my first knowledge of data file host or something. Yeah, or yeah, something yeah. like that, Fresh. where you can just put shit out for free and yeah. and, and people will just get Dutta it. Data file host mm-hmm. was fresh then. You understand? Yeah. yeah. Um, and so we built that. So that's, that's that song was kind of the first real impactful sort of joint. Mm. Um, oh, that, that is when you become a star, actually. That's when it kind of begins. Mm. Yeah, that's when. Okay, it, so we'll come back when slowly. my guy Sons of Filagas <laughs> here becomes a star with Boom Shakalaka. That time for the league has come. And don't forget, our sponsor for the day. Yes, sir. The limelight is on me <laughs> and my guy. <laughs> Uh, back like we never <laughs> left at all. <laughs> the surprise was running through us, so uh, we had to take a bathroom break. We were talking about yourself becoming a star with Boom Shakalaka. That's yeah. that's your first national hip hop hit song. Yes, yes. If I used I can... used the word Quite, national yeah, I'm, intentionally. I'm, I'm, I'm taking that in <laughs> slowly. I'm like, yeah, yeah. but I mean. Yes, I'd say yes. Um, only in understanding that there was always a bigger place to go to even after that joint, right? Mm. Uh, but yeah, I think it was the first Vele. Okay, wouldn't the fuck, well, especially okay. in the club Questa. scene. And, yeah, mm. no question. Mm. Go a little question, I mean, yes, you know. Because um, you know when you're still just a rap nigga, you don't get that much respect, especially at that time. Now you can because hip hop has grown that much. At that time, it was just like, yeah, it's just, it's a guy we know he raps, yeah, he's dope, but whatever. So now, yeah, because now it comes with like what they think about the raps. Right? It, mm. it, it, it's not just, oh, we know this guy, he raps. It's like, we know this guy, he raps. Remember that joint that we fuck with? Yeah. Or that joint that we don't fuck with? Or that mm. joint, he's dope. Or he's Remember now that they're joint describing that's always shit. Playing. Yeah, that hey, joint that you never not you hear. Yeah. It. Yeah. The one that's yeah. always jamming. Yeah, so that that's what added, that added that into. To mm-hmm. whatever quest I had done before, so um, yeah, that 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 boom shakalaka joint was, and I remember even when I think X was reluctant to get on the joint. If you remember, he correctly. was. Even, I yeah. had to talk X yeah. into getting onto that song. I remember. That's the why first you, time X you heard know. that song, he said, yeah. "I should jump on this." <laughs> like, it's like this is more. Yeah, we should have. Well, if we had like uh, at that point, if we, we already had the THT plan. Yeah. Um. At the at the time the joint dropped. Yeah. Or right before, then we should have all jumped on that fucker. Right. Yeah. It would have made sense for what to, we're. I was about doing. to say like it was gonna be a perfect segue for me to say this was around the time you guys turned your back on. Me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but remember, we we made a joint. <laughs> this was around. We made a joint. Remember. Yeah. Um, 
and it I never mean, really came though, to completion. Really yeah, because we couldn't get. I think <clears throat> Ashley, a guy called Ashley from Cape Town, had made the beat, uh, which was also oh, supposed yeah. to yeah, which was supposed to be part of the rally for Dakar. And then of course we turned our backs on you because fuck it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, though. <laughs> Shut the fuck up with that narrative. <laughs> <laughs> then it was like, no, forget this guy. <laughs> nah, bro. Uh, actually, wait, are we talking about that now? I don't know what the fuck. We have to Let save me tell it you. for part two. Oh, okay, because cool. Because there's a lot of conversation in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And also, even in... THT, right? There's exactly. a lot of conversation in that. There's a lot that. to yeah, unpack yeah. And, in all of that. There's a lot that happens. Yeah, just have yeah. it. Yeah, uh, no, I feel you. Mm. But yeah, I think with Boom Shakalaka, that's really when um, it really kind of started going. Okay, shit. Now, and mind you, also just for the kids that for for the newer guys that want it quick, um, this is now five years. Um, into me having a deal, right? Um, Five years of being a commercial rapper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> only now does it kind of go. Oh, and only second at that album. Point. And do you understand? We're working on second mm. album, and only only then did it kind of go. You know? Because everything else that we're accounting with uh, special requests is for people who actually paid attention to. Oh, yeah, Jesus, guys got four singles on radio, but also then you have to think. How well are these singles doing? And yeah. how, you know what I mean? Um, the fact that, so that showcased the versatility. That's like the the board to say, hi, I'm Questa, I do this. And I'm dope. You know, yeah, and mm. I'm dope here and here, and I could do this. I could, you know, so that's the intro. So shout out to Special Request for having done that. But um, yeah, Ipum Shakalaka was the first one that was like kind of. Because at the time, as hip hop also, we were like very happy about just had, playing. Yeah, also, yeah, that's it. I played and, on, and, on so and so and such now. and such. Though. I remember that shit. There it was, was such a was big no deal to just kind of go and 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 it was all. You almost had a little bit of animosity when you heard anybody else that you were around at the time playing, and now the whole show's finished and they ain't playing none of your shit. It was always like, mm. oh shit. Uh, oh, I so see the man's oh, VG. booming. Okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. hey, not very VG. Love you. You know, but I'm just, yeah. I was just making an example. You know, um, and and because that was our big deal. Our big mm. deal was we're getting played. We're on radio. You know, mm. um, we're we're in the clubs. You there know? was even the what was that campaign? JR started and was pushing the play local or die or what was that? Yeah, there was a play local or die thing that that also okay. we got on a lot um, um, at the time when Noto was doing the social media stuff. Um, mm. It was yeah, I think I don't know who started it. I'm not, I'm, I don't remember, but mm. I, I know I was a part of that shit um, in terms of just uh, having Brand Quest the advocate home. for that shit. Yeah. You know, it was always, but which I think helped the shitload, right? Um, mm. Because. It was not only to radio; it was also to the club DJs, right? Because it was a yeah, it was yeah, to the, it was, it to, was the club to the club DJs, DJs actually, at that time. You know, because we would go to clubs and, and we'd be listening just, to. You'd get about an hour of just the local shit, and then there's like six other DJs, and they all and Pella. At this point, we're fighting. Um, what's this? The wave of fucking young money. Right, yeah, <laughs> the, the new trick, which was imagine. monstrous. It's like Rick geez, Ross and, and, and you just, you know, it's like, come on, guys. And, and and then there was that whole dialogue or argument or whatever you want to call it, where the DJs are going, yeah, maybe the shit is not just of the quality that's needed, and or vice versa. So there was that the conversation club, yeah. to play in the club, and there was always that conversation, and 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 so one of the missions for a song like Boom Shakalaka was yeah. kind of. Play a role the in that convo. Which okay. We'll talk, okay. Right. Which was That's a healthy it. dialogue actually between the DJs and the Yeah, I mean Because uh, it did change how we all made music. We all started making songs for the club. Yeah, to kind of feel mm. I need to you get the and then at the point when you get the feel of the club, because the club is set up in whatever climate and at that point it's the cash young money climate and what mm. and as soon as you're in that climate, as soon as you sort of can play then you can now taste make for what the club plays. Yeah. Right? Then you can you have a voice. Design. Yeah. In the now you can design now. A, this is what motherfuckers should be hearing in the club kind yeah. of situation, you know? Yeah. Um and 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 I think yeah, one of the missions of that joint and that 
Um, and you know, a lot of the the free songs were given away. Was was that to kind of the familiarity in the club or the and a lot of the time even boom shaka like I got like yeah it's dope but you know it's it's it, I I can't I I can't guarantee as a DJ that that it's gonna get the same reaction as um, if I play a Drake joint and I want the reaction you want the Drake uh, joint reaction no well as the DJ mm. right if oh, I'm, yeah, 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 yeah if I'm the DJ, DJ yeah. I'm trying to play shit that will get people yeah because my job yeah. is to yeah that's my <laughs> and i'm like i don't want to play yeah. drake and then play this you know it's yeah. kind of make me seem like a shit Just dj you or, yeah you know what i mean <laughs> so <laughs> as healthy as that dialogue was was it, it, it there was, it was points tough. where it got a little yeah it got mm. tough got toxic got, but uh mm. i mean at the end of it all it, it 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 ended up working out and that was kind of the first um yes for questa uh, nationally recognized mm. efforts you know? yeah yeah Definitely, and then we we then travel as caution to the wind. <clears throat> caution. <laughs> I remember me saying caution to the wind and uh, driving X <laughs> super ballistic. Like he X just didn't want that. You know, X, is, X wants things. He wants to know. Yeah. Yo, so. We're moving from, we're going to, yeah. it's going to take this long. It's c- mm. And there was always and the, the caution, caution to the wind. wind like, also started becoming like, very caution to. Tell, that was even the first time, I swear, as much as I love language, it is, that was the first time I heard the phrase. Yeah, the phrase. Not me, that's even as a I phrase, took. I was like, caution to the wind. What, the, I'm like, oh, what okay. could that ever mean? I'm like, okay, shit. It means, we'll see what the fuck happens. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, it was, it was insane. It was it, helpful, though, at that time because we were young niggas that, because Nazi was false, that we were coming into ourselves. Yeah. And yeah. we were coming out of our pups' shadows. Yeah. yeah. You were coming out that of the speaker shadow. Yeah. yeah. And we were the coming big out part of, of it the, was coming out of the shadows shadow. into wherever the pups is playing mm. because it was almost like, Yes, you're there, but you know, at the invite of the pops. But now you yeah. can like create a space where you're there because you're there, or yeah. because you are that guy, or because there's things about you that you know make you deserve being there. And we we're fighting for that. Whether we knew, or I personally was like, "Yo, we're trying to do something that's that we could probably do again next year and the other year, and hopefully just keep doing it." But yeah. I didn't fully understand or know at that at that point mm. the the impact that it, it 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 would have or or the resilience it showed you know because f- for me yeah. things like caution to the wind are generally my shit it's like you yeah. know um I, I i i i like not as soon as i know too much about something before we start it my anxiety will go through the roof about how to execute it right but if i don't know enough anyway it's almost like well, we'll see. You know, yeah. uh, we'll see. I mean, you still I, gonna uh, throw the caution to the wind? Yeah, I mean, I said, I'm, it's like you know, you go to a, a platform where you're supposed to, they're gonna play your random beat and you rap. It's 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 either you write for that specific thing or, you know, I'll see what they do when they throw on a beat with something that 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 I may have had or may have, mm. you know. So it's, we'll just sob on a pan beat, you know, which was. A thing that I never really stopped outside of maybe certain things because as you grow you kind of go uh, maybe maybe not caution to the wind so not much. Not all the caution. <laughs> <laughs> maybe yeah, not all the caution. Some, the, the yeah, caution. Some, some of the caution needs to be taken by you. <laughs> or maybe the caution to the breeze, not the wind. Not the whole. Oh, yeah, just yeah, vroom, vroom. just, yeah. <laughs> just a slide yeah. and then okay, bring the caution back. Yeah, but uh, I mean, there's, uh, for me uh, like. One of the big things about uh, THT, without getting into it a lot, is mm. it's one of the big. It was, it's one of the first independent things or things that weren't dependent on, like where the core could be 
made here. The call of what we need, the call of what to do, the call of where to do it is all here. There's no, mm. there's no upstairs to call. We're both yeah, upstairs and no downstairs. Upstairs. There's one floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's one fucking yeah. floor. There's nothing else. It's you both know, people. We're, it's the same people we working have to fight on about both floors. It, yeah. <laughs> it's the same if people. We working. need a meeting upstairs. <laughs> everybody same, goes everyone's upstairs. going upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go talk about so, this upstairs, <laughs> and then we all come so downstairs, we'll come downstairs and perform as the artists. Yeah. You know, and and that was pretty dope. That was like, oh, fuck. That yeah, was that's, dope. That's, that's that quite was, delicious. You know? That was yourself, us as Cash Sam. Yeah. Yanga is our cameraman. We have some footage there on YouTube if people dare yeah, yeah, find it check somehow. Yeah, yeah, Bits. Yes. Yeah, there was snippets, KT, there was we didn't lovely. put out everything, actually. Of course. Of yo, the footage. We still have footage sitting of that whole experience. Mm-hmm. We had Yanga there before he... Devoted himself to being a chief, and that's when he was beginning on it because, well, he it always rapped. I do younger rap from quite a while back, but mm. he, as soon as he had taken, he, I'm gonna take it back to ventilation a bit. As soon as he picked up the camera there, uh, and I think he took up, what did he say? I don't want to get this wrong. See, the six months or six weeks course to to learn how to be a vid- videographer and shit and, mm. and he started doing it for but being and ventilation and created the whole thing um so the involvement in in tht was generally capture the shit capture the shit but remember yeah, whenever we make this joke <laughs> yeah. was cool. that's and when he, he started was, rapping out he loud he was rapping yeah mm. and he was rapping out loud started like, getting oh, on fuck songs it. you know yeah and 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 then Vagalog, I think even after THC, he then said, "Ah, fuck it, mm. I'm gonna give this shit a shot." You yeah, know? which That's was when he was even coming to Bram now to the session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. oh what, shit, what okay, we're on to rap. Five hundred two, five hundred nine, five. Where were we in Bram? Was it five hundred two? Five hundred two sounds. Was it five hundred two? Five no? sounds correct. Yeah, five hundred two sounds correct. But <laughs> you should know five hundred two very well. <laughs> I know 502, Actually, trust me. Yeah, we'll save that for part two also. <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do all the personal shit on part two, no? Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, do the, we'll do your journey as, as an artist here. So, what is the first thing that you remember feeling like from <coughs> your, okay, I have a hit song? Uh, <clears throat> or didn't feel it also? Yeah. Still chasing him and Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I knew, I knew it was something that people around me fucked with. Mm. Uh, liked it really, and so did I. I mean, I'm not, uh, and also I'm not trying to say it wasn't shit. I'm trying to downplay nothing, mm. right? Um, but it wasn't no good or nothing, you know. Yeah, because that then is a different <laughs> feeling. <laughs> wasn't That's it? why I was like, was I was no good or nothing. No, me, bef- I had a joint that I'd made. Um, I think we just didn't finish it in time or whatever for, <coughs> excuse me, for the writing, for special request even, which was called Find A Way. Right? In my head, that joint was the best joint I had ever made. Mm. Nobody gave a fuck. And it was going to change your life, ne? In your mind. Yeah. It was going to go crazy. Gave a fuck. <laughs> Nobody gave a flying fuck. So I think that kind of, well, even before Boom Shakala or whatever. Mm. But I, because I had that I had that joint in any case and it didn't make the his special request. Mm. Right? Um I was like, ah oh, shit, maybe niggas don't feel this one. Didn't even uh, make the album. It didn't make the album. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, shit. It's, it's like I feel like this is the best work I've ever done. Mm. But um so when when Boom Shakalaka comes out, I mean the reactions are like these were the best reactions I've ever gotten. Which is dope and something you acknowledge, but I was always like, "Man, there's there's something else to look for." You know, there's, yeah. there's always something. You like, knew that wasn't I, it. It. I knew it wasn't yeah. it. It. But I, I, I I'll applaud it for it. It was dope. Like, that they were fucking it. with you. Yeah, it's <laughs> like it was the one first fuck withable um, mm. that was like, okay, shit. This may be our guy, you know, mm. for some people who go, okay, shit, this is my guy. I don't mm. give a fuck who has done what before or who's going to do what in the future. Some people decided that thing. Mm. Say, from this joint, I'm saying, you're my guy, right? Mm. Um, and that's what that joint did. But as far as having considered it to be a hit like that, I, I really didn't. I always still felt it was... Um, you know, it, 
it wasn't a more, yeah. you know. It yeah, wasn't I was anything. About to, say, to be fair, uh, also, it wasn't a hit like that. Done. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, it was dope. It that's was what I'm saying. Nice that's why I keep trying cleanser. to lead the conversation to like the clubs and shit. It was mm. it was dope for that sort of um, scenery, but niggas had around. some other national shit and some bigger shit, and I knew there was that. But you don't take away from it because it wasn't that, and say it was nothing, right? So yeah. it was it was quite a lot. It was the first sort of. Okay. We're okay. Getting closer. Well, yeah, we're getting closer. <laughs> we're getting you know there. what I mean? So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's how I felt about that joint. I mean, I was proud of it. I'm still, still am, mm. uh, but it, it was, it there was still more to be done. Yeah. So we come back twenty, cause that was twenty twelve. Yeah. We, and then come, we come back, back twenty thirteen. Twenty thirteen. Uh, Dakar. Right. Yeah. And now we are in debt from yes, that tour. Yes. There's no money anywhere. In fact, we didn't make anything. <laughs> <laughs> we just performed and went, but we we did great though. We did great. Remember, we fucked up that fucking record in a loop loop club or whatever, or some club Town, in Loop yeah. Street in Cape Town. Yeah. yeah, we was out there thinking we rich, Broke counted record, money at yeah. the back. You know, yeah, <laughs> ah, insane. That money fucking was gone crazy. in like a week. Yeah, it, was, it was finished, and it, it had to go immediately because there was debt to come there. Yeah, uh, sorry, uh, independently, it wasn't a game. We learned that. <laughs> On the tour, <laughs> and uh, mm. um, and so yeah, we get into Dakar, um, Tulu Jive, which now has this song that I'm talking about, Find a Way, yeah. But we lead with um, Tulu Jive, right? Which mm. is my first sort of search for quite a yeah, mm. yeah, because um, we were already moving in that direction, it was, as yeah, it was like kind of. That was already cooking in the studio. Even the references in the things we were saying were exactly. already going exactly. in that. That Everything was already was going a style we were going was for. Happening. Mm. Yeah, um, and 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 some of the joints. There was many other attempts to to make a a tulu jive. Yeah. You know, um, become there was so that thing was already a moving thing, as you say. Mm. With, you know, it was especially and and that time. But, Came us back now. We're in the hood again, mm. and he's like, because he's also a very quite the influence. I'm like, yeah, Sonic he's is. like, yeah, he's. I'm like, this is the guy to kind of do it with. Mm. Um, and then we go to um, joints like uh, what's this? I did try to do my five FM shit again. Uh, with a yeah, joint. then you had Bella. You had a. We like to. We like to. Party. You had a blueprint now. Uh, it was okay. Yeah. I give I give why, yo, I'm with a special I request. This shit. Yeah. I give. <laughs> <laughs> I give Metro something. For real. Know? For real. Um, what was your five FM joint there in Dakar? It was. Uh, High on life, I think it was called. Oh yes, yeah, it was high that on was life. That was also produced we by Ashley. Ashley, yeah, Ashley. Yeah, yeah, Ashley. Yeah, he was, he, he was like my plug for the, touch. yeah, he was my he was. plug for the dubstepish, five and famous kind of thing, you know. Mm. Um, but I think with that album, it was kind of. Uh, I'm proud of the fact that uh, this was the. It was the first work or the first body of work. Uh, that we had done uh, with La Vida and Barra, right? Uh, mm. As, 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 as a team, as at least. As executive producers, right? Um, and so I'm proud of it in that sense. I'm proud of the music. Like I say, mm. what's in there is one of my favorite joints of all time that I've ever made, which is Find a Way. Which, which I, I, I keep saying it, no so you go check it out right now. <laughs> <laughs> I keep having to sell this shit, and I made this shit in 2007 <laughs> or 2008 or whatever. Damn, <laughs> I'm still trying to sell that shit. I'm gonna have to go play it also after. Yo, this. please, bro. Uh, I'm performing it on the top. I'm gonna fuck what? <laughs> oh yeah, I'll give it to us here. Yeah. <laughs> um, and um, I mean, again, nominations um, and things like that, and impact of uh, obviously riding the boom shakalaka. Um, but again, you know, lukewarmish uh, reception. Uh, maybe the industry takes notes and nominates you here and there, mm -hmm. but there's no real sort of runaway hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. Boom Shagalaga is still the Yeah, track, it's still the really the track song. on yeah. Mm. On I mean, the set. I've, yeah, I have my favorites, I have my shit, but Boom Shagalaga is still mm. that joint, you know? Um on that but I think when you listen to that album as a whole, it's 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 really, really, really well put together, you know. Uh, I may I may talk about 
maybe you know the mixing was a little fuzzy here <laughs> come on now <laughs> you know? uh, but but as far come as joints on. are concerned I'm, I'm really really happy and proud of that shit yeah. you know uh, as far as how they were also put together you know mm. um, I remember I have a joint there called Radio which is also one of my favorites with uh, Charles M. Kuhn <laughs> who's 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 now Charlie from WTF uh, he, he did a, he did a joint. He did a joint, and he sings the hook on that fucking joint. That's uh, with Maraza coming in at the end, you know. Uh, the, oh yeah, there's like fucking joints with Crash Car Burn also. Right? It's just a rock band, rock band, right? Mm. Hard rock shit. Um, fuse that up with the genius that is fucking Maraza. Who when we were fusing yes. shit up, but I keep being goop and he was just hitting shit on the mic and it turned out into the beat and he switched the fuck up. Yeah. It was fucking he insane. He was in right? beast mode Yo, at that Raza. time. Jesus. Crazy. Um, yes, yes. Raza was insane. Um and yeah, and so we have that album and and that's how I feel about that album. And I'm 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 happy about it, but it wasn't um a commercial success, right? Mm. So and at this point, I don't have a commercial success. Right? It's, it's, mm. it's it's special request, respectable. We have uh, it's have, your, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm it's taking not a crossover, the, but it's a commercial success. Yeah, and we're starting off this iTunes thing at this time. I think, and you know, we debuted at number three. It's like, okay, shit, crazy. But it's the beginning of like this iTunes thing. Yeah, so maybe right. it took about three downloads to get to number three. I don't know, <laughs> but it's what happened. <laughs> But it's, it's number three, happened. nigga. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's number three. Um, and yeah, and and then I think but by the following year, um, with us sort of pushing um, the, what's this, the Dakar album, mm. and then already recording music for the next one, mm. we get into studio with Cypher. Um, and and there's a kid there in that studio mm. whose name is DJ Slick. Some light skinned little nigga. Yes, I'm I'm vendor nigga just there, you know what I mean? Pretending to be from the <laughs> south. <laughs> south vendor. <laughs> Some south vendor what nigga. What type vendor mm. is this? And and so uh, that bill puts out a, a joint. I think this is now 2014, 15? Definitely 2014 now. 14, right? Mm. Uh, and Do Like I Do comes out. Of course. You know, um, which is Ipum uh, Shakalaka culturally and, and, and culturally in rap is probably more impactful, but now this is a bit more then, inclusive. Uh, do Like I Do. More was, impactful? Yeah, well, I'm saying culturally in rap and in hip hop, probably boom shakalaka but this was a bit wider it got to a different audience that didn't necessarily have to fuck with um yeah. hip hop on mm. rap you know uh they, they 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 could appreciate it because I feel like but the like beat was um, more impactful um, um, that's what i'm saying i'm well, saying I thought you like said a, no i'm saying boom maybe in in the rap space but then he it, it do like I do oh. more in the rap space and a bit outside but of the rap I space. Think, right? I think do like I do takes it in all regards because that's what uh, the rap space was also at the time. So I so my struggle here is humbleness. I'm struggling with being yeah, humble. I'm struggling I to, with... I had to so we, get so it do like out I of I the do. thing also <laughs> when we were traveling. I'm like this Ubuntu <laughs> level on you niggas. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, so Do Like I Do comes to it. It fucking, it's, it's, it's a smash, right? It, it fucking hits and it, it lands and it's, it's in the club. It's at the festivals. It's, it's like, a, it's quite the way shit. It's exactly where Tulu Jiva was supposed to be going. It's yeah. like, it's right fucking there. You and know? at the perfect time, Karakara is also going crazy. You understand me? It's like, oh, shit. And, and so now that, the, the, the yes, there's the lead here, Karakara, right? The template right? is and there. The template is like, <laughs> fucking, finally, oh, we're oh. here, right? Right? This sound is fucking in terms of um, applying some of the quiet ways mm. and, and still rapping. Of course, the pops was going to nail it the best oh, way uh, I mean, <laughs> to, I mean. to then say, oh, okay, mm. this is. You could have just told us <laughs> how 
You didn't have to We're trying to do this shit this whole time. <laughs> now you've perfected this shit. Now what the fuck? Because you know? of course you've been doing this yeah, for long. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Like yo, we've been secretly doing this shit, but okay. and then boom, here you come. <laughs> okay, fuck. here it is. <laughs> All right, sure. Mm. You know. Uh, and also, he does it with then the best one out of all of us to do this thing. This type of thing, That's yes. That's fair X. to say, X yes, is yes, the yes, best yes, one yeah. with the... With Dog, the to think that there was a point where X didn't rap in the neck is, is like... It's an insane thought to think because... Jeez, yes, English rap's insanely... But it's, he's so at home in... I don't even want to say at home. He's just in a different planet, in a different yeah. fucking universe when he does that whole hood shit. And, and this, it's yeah. as though he Jesus came up Christ. that way. It's yeah, insane. It's, when we started doing that thing, we were when looking I at him, hear like, him do the that in the studio, I'm like, yo, man, I'm man, this nigga. Nigga. Because it's one thing to use the language. It's not about language with the this style. man. It's the style and the and the what the and the delivery and the she come alive and continue it in a new swings. sentence. And I was like, yeah, no, X is it's insane. Really? In a different bag, yeah. So so yeah, that comes out and it and it's in that sort of realm, right? And it's like, oh shit, perfect timing, right? And mm. and now the whole scape of this shit is changing. It's mm. it's getting. We, where it's being successfully pulled to the hood, it, to yeah. the dust, right? Which was perfectly coined also mm. um, um, by, by, by you guys, by the, right? Yes. By the Cash Time by the fam. Cash um, Time Impacts. <clears throat> yeah, and, and it's finally there and, and all that shit happens. Mm. Um, and now this becomes then... My, which is but it's a which is DJ Slick song and it features fucking mm. this and flabber, it right? You, DJ you, you Slick, pull out a way. flabber who's always been... Um, the one guy in squatter camp that had everyone seemed hood, but not like flower, right? It's um, the in squatter camp, it was the hoodest, the hoodest <laughs> out of out of everyone in squatter camp. No he offense, to everyone, everyone's goodest. hood, everyone's hood, but he, he was also the goodest, no? It was uh, my favorite squatter campers were Flabba and Pozza. And who's Pozza, the goodest? Yeah. No, Flabba was the coolest. Come Flabba on. was the coolest, no. Uh, yes, Flabba was the coolest. Tried to but be nice to your big homie Pozo. No, in the beginning. Pozo was my favorite also. Yeah, in the By beginning. By the way, yo, so I understand why right, Pozo was the favorite. Yeah, yo, he and had he that. was the first solo. He yeah, was the favorite. Yeah, he was the favorite. Yeah. You know he what I'm saying? Favorite. So he was the the, fr the face of it. Like the he was first, the smashes. He was the, you understand? Yeah, it's like you go to... Yo, you you, you see girls, him, you see Squad Had the flow. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it, bro. I get it. It's cool. Um, so, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. He had the flow, he had the girls, he had the swag, he had, he had the, you the know, he, was, he, oh, he, had, he yes. didn't want me to get oh, to the hole. Jesus. <laughs> okay, he had uh, it all. I think, yes, that, he had it all. Okay, shit. Manager, I got a podcast, man. Like, hey, yeah. um, now I have more so, yeah. than him. <laughs> 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 so, um, yeah, so we put out that joint and it has Flava, who's like, you know, uh, he's always had. Is, if there's one thing I've always liked about Flava and what I've always tried to emulate also in my raps, like as, as hard as the lines go and whatever, there's a certain sense of. You know, wit that comes with a bar and and, mm. and, and, and a good line, like you know, it's almost like it's, it's almost like a joke. Wit and humor. Yeah, wit mm. and he had a perfect balance of of that, you know. But I think it was Fakes. it was either I think it was Slick who really had already spoken to Flabba and anything about John. I heard that Flabba was gonna be in like, yeah, fuck yeah, you know. Uh, Fire. So um, yeah, and then we we'll put that out and. That kind of works. It's a DJ Slick joint, but it's mm. obviously in my fucking set. I'm performing. It's okay, shit. It's, it's, it's the biggest it's Questa up, song at the time. You top. understand me? Yeah, <laughs> it's the biggest Questa song. It's like, mm. oh shit, this is our lead. This is the, this is how we close the show. Okay, mm. this is like the big moment. Mm. You know, um, and yeah, and we ride that out for a bit. This remix is remixes, um, the remix that came out also, mm. you know, um, and, 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 and then mm. we get to. And this is the greatest. Uh, SA hip hop uh, year of all time. Yes, you have, you have, you have. Amantombazane. When you said remix, you I'm have, like, oh, um, started thinking of the remixes. 
You have Doc Chevelleza, you have Karakara, you have Jesus. Kusheshe. You have Kusheshe. You have... Ooh, ah, man, ooh. come on. It's a mess. Come on. And Keenan with the AK just got... Congratulate. Congratulate, yes. Oh, Fucking my congratu- goodness. Levels, ah, no, no, Kanda no, no. Republic. No, 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 no. No, no. no way. No. Takatsu. May never, no may way. never see it again. May never. May never. Respectfully. Hopefully we do. But hopefully, may never. yeah. Hopefully yeah. we do. Yeah. And then it leads us to then Takatsu, right? Which is also why we're in, at Saifo's spot is also because we're... And I liked recording at Saifo because I've, I'd mm. always say like he's... He kind of, as soon as the voice thing kind of started, Vele... And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck it, let me rap like this. He kind of mm. was the first one I did it with, and he kind of got it. And like, dabba, dabba, matabba, zibba, and he got it like mm. that. He didn't try to fix that shit and, and add a what and add a what, and you know. And Was X also not the influence of that tone? Yeah, I think from there's a joint. There's a joint. It's Boom Shakalaka, right? Yeah, it's Boom yeah, Shakalaka. It's boom shakalaka. When you play Boom Shakalaka, he's rapping he's in a deeper, deeper tone yeah, than you. Yeah, he's deep. And in my head, I thought I was deep, right? Because mm. I was... But that's how I spoke at the time. It was like... I don't know. Mm. I'm like... And it's calm. Because, but because of its relaxness, relaxnessness, or mm. relaxed nature, you thought <laughs> it was deep. But... X then comes in, but I can never try it. It's like, yeah. oh shit, that's that's a fucking deep voice. Yes. You know what I mean? Um, and and yes, to embrace that and kind of take it was definitely fucking um, an influence in terms of how X approached the style of the joint. Mm. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I was already I didn't give chilled. you a floral, the uh, <laughs> No, 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 grab the floral, brother. Grab yes, it. you're the guy. Uh, yeah, I mean, for years, X is like my favorite rapper, right? I don't know if you know this. He like, was, he's, he's like my number one. Every SA rapper's favorite rapper. I remember Pela Vuzu at that time was the most popular shit. Oh, yeah. Whenever a rapper yeah. was on Vuzu and they'd be talking about rappers, X. they'd be like, yo, Kid X. X right now. It was like the rapper's favorite rapper coining that. Mm. Was X that? and that's the first thing I actually ever seen be that. I've seen people say they are that, and then it never I've really is. I've seen him be that, yeah. like hear rappers say that Yo, guy's that's that guy. and his mind and his yours and even us when we are together we like, <laughs> like hey, X, nah, like, hey, X <laughs> yeah, nah, for real. Yeah. So, so, so yeah, um, and then also fuck, I I have to mention there was also Trilly was a very close second to me. Uh, yes. Trill, trill, yeah. Yes. But uh, and this is obviously when we are all making all that music in Bridgeview. Oh yes, I mean, yes. and man, I mean, I'm young again, I'm feeling boom. And there's always like a joint done, and then you guys would like open like a fucking sixteen and say, "Come on, nah, fuck y'all." Shit is done. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? What setup is this? Y'all sat and wrote this shit together. Now you want me to write post? I imagine if I write post, I'm supposed to be better than all of you mm. because I wrote Pressure. after. And then and I'm like, no, fuck that. I'm not doing that. I'm not jumping on this shit mm. <laughs> until we start some new shit. You know. But uh, but that I guess that that spoke to the respect and yeah, of and caliber of MC that was in the in in, in the room at that time. Mm. Um, and yeah, well, back to this thing. Yeah, and then we go to Envar logo. Oh, then the features come in, right? There's like features every fucking way I'm doing. Um, all sorts of features with uh, fucking artists. And so the name's moving. It's getting into different sort of mm. places. I'm doing features with <laughs> people that do pop. I'm doing features with people that do gospel. I'm doing, I'm doing features. And yeah, your 5 a.m. shit. <laughs> your 5 a.m. fan was paying dividends everywhere you mm. know I'm doing features with everyone um, and that's Denny how K I guess 20 that. but I didn't do a song with Danny <laughs> K but yes Danny K stuff. there was a white man <laughs> Danny K type man that you <laughs> You're in those type realms, is what I'm saying. Bro, I was in those realms. I was in the gospel realms. I've been pinch I've been too bad. I got joints with them. Uh, wait, You're not, a not legend. A no chabu. Sorry, not pinch I've been too bad. Mm. Chabu, strong one. Um, nah, nah, all I'm a good man, you know? Mm. I'm doing the Kwaito features. I'm doing I'm songs old. I'm in studio level Oski. Like, I'm really like kind of mm. everywhere, really. You're hot. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm, I'm, That's I'm what being hot, hot is. I'm hot. Mm. I'm fire. I'm shit. I'm, I'm fucking hot. 
Um, and that's how I think we wrote out 2015. And in, in the whole of that, I'm recording. Oh, yeah, back to the cypher thing, right? So I'm recording. Um, and some of the joints I made at cypher, like a song like Nyaz Fela was made at cypher's mm. uh, studio. Uh, many oh, yes. joints, in you, fact. You didn't give us, you gave us Slick and Tapsy. Come on now. No, that, that, you see, that was all, that was cypher. Right, because these are people I found at Cyphos. Uh, more humility. Yeah, no, it's the real. It's not. It's not humility. Yes, maybe they came out <laughs> with the joints with me, but I literally found them but in the I, studio. Literally. Know, when we say you gave them to us, we mean you gave them to us. We listen to okay. them because of you. We know them because of you. All right, sharp. Yes. Then. Not to say they themselves are not who they are. Yeah. yeah. And wherever and you pick them up. That, yeah. <laughs> Could have picked them up on the side of the street by Saifo. Tina, see, could have. Okay, yeah, sure. I, I get that. I get that. I get yeah. So you bring us tabs. Okay, so Nyas Fela also is made there. Yeah. Um, like, so you're getting into a very fire bag. Yeah, in this whole time, I'm recording this next album. Mm. Right? Well, even during these features and things, doing while well, I'm doing this, while I'm doing that, I'm really making music for or gathering at least um, some material to mm. put on uh, the next album, right? So Saifo yeah. is a person I'm working closely to or with um, and hence Slick and Tabsi. Yeah. And, and yeah, which then brings us to fucking the car too, right? Um, mm. You know what I just remembered? Yeah. I just remembered the craziest thing. Talking about Nyaz Fela, I just remembered that <clears throat> that's a song you wrote uh, at my crib in Bram yeah. at, f at 502. Yeah. It had a, a <laughs> small sample before then. There was, a, there was a before, I think it was before Tapsi sang, right? Yeah, there wasn't even a Tapsi in our yeah, lives yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. Because this was 20... It was, yeah, it was... It might have been it was, 2012, it nigga. Time. Yeah. It might have been 2012. So the verses and the words, yes. You know what was crazy? Is that song... Because you that song ends up becoming about your wife and your kid, right? And the funniest thing, thinking back to that day, because I don't know where I had gone out to, I think I was probably getting beer or something. And so when I come back, I caught you <coughs> rapping that to yourself. You're putting yeah. it together. Yeah. Um, I get that go there by the there by the window there. Yeah, kinda, by the, it was a little window the, situation. One of the bed couches like, called sleeper couch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right there. I mean, you know it's so bon crazy. Bed bad couch. <laughs> This nigga had me on the bad couch. You know what's so Jeez. crazy? The fact that what was so annoying that day was the fact that we had gone to the club the night before. You didn't go back home. Yes. And that's and when the whole yo, shit started. To become wife yes, was so mad. Pissed. And my whole thing was to write an excuse or a reason or yo, give reason I to I couldn't what. even use my phone. Dog. The way she was calling, you, like I, I couldn't back in do the, anything. Back in the when when you can even go to some of my hood days, jeez, she I wasn't was, playing. She was that call. If you didn't either come home or say you're fine, you're sleeping, you're gonna get calls until you answer. Until you until, answer, sir. Not with the, I couldn't believe until it. Until you answer, was, everyone <laughs> would be called. Every single person I had to that let you my could phone possibly die. be around. I had to let my phone die. That was the only way to get away from that call. I had to let it die. It's like, okay, I'm going to have to not have a phone today. have this convo, no call, no tona, no father. Everybody would get called. Hey, man, Senzo, man, Senzo. And now you're just... Hey, hold on. I'm not ready for that. Not ready. I'm not ready. Hold the fuck up. Not ready for that. Uh, but yeah, and, and, and that's when that shit started. Shit, it's crazy that you remember the actual moment. But I remember the time, right? Because there was man Joel Olympia, I call the one day. But I remember mm. that it was a time when I was at your crib. And I think I was there for more than one day. I, was, I had that's been the there thing. for the day before. We actually, the, even though she was calling like that, yeah, it had been pushed, you know? So, but I remember it was that time when I mm. started, oh, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah I was with next time. <laughs> You had to, no? <laughs> yeah, the first joint has to be that because it was, um, 
And then, but as it molded itself, I'm like, shit, well, maybe onto something. And kind of, then I started thinking song instead of let me send this message. You but also the, made your wife turn her back on me. How the fuck did I do that? With that, she hated me after that. For oh, she like doesn't four hate you now. Yes, yeah, yeah. Hate you now. Cool. yeah. We're good now. <laughs> she hated me then too. At that very moment. True, but she was in love with you. Me, she could sacrifice. It's like, this one, I can hate him forever. This one, I hate him today. And then he comes back. Mm -hmm. and then, I had a point. Because I was said. looking like an enabler, I'm I think, said. to her. Yeah, it was supposed to enable. It was just the time. It just yeah. took also, what it took. Also, I smash this. It's like... You, you barely you know. gave a fuck. Don't act like it matters. It I mattered didn't. then. And then it didn't matter. Just, you were just pissed we at the fact... But I weren't going to give just, a fuck. And then you married her. <laughs> <laughs> and then you married her. And left me in the cold. <laughs> I was like this... Like this guy was my friend. I know... Lord of the jig, Lord of the ring. Come on. <laughs> It was beautiful though <laughs> to witness it dead closely. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Fuck, that's the insane. The too though. That's fucking crazy. So you you making Yasfela out there with Cypho and I don't even remember the first joint we made um, on the cartoon to tell you the truth. Uh, you guys were just creating. Yeah, I went to Sony. A lot of it was recorded at Sony Studios and um, Cypho Studios and um, um, Ganja Beats. Is there anything that I recorded elsewhere? Oh, and Bori. Uh, oh, yeah, of uh, how, yeah. how dare? Fana. How dare? <laughs> In fact, I should have started with that and then <laughs> went everywhere else. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> mm. You know, um, so, which was dope because, I mean, to suck up all this influence and, and, and kind of yeah. be influenced by all these guys was, mm. was, was And was these a are good all thing. heavy hitters in the game at the time. Yeah, it's fucking... To, for Ganja had was making all Casper's dog, crazy shit. You understand shit. when we were talking about the the Lento Basibala man, one of the greatest years in hip. Ganja has a big hand in that yeah. shit, right? A, a huge Ganja fucking, was going you know, crazy. It, you know, it was, Saifo also had Saifo joints at the his, time. Dog, it's, it's insane at that point, and I'm working with and yeah, all that. Yeah. And I'm working, and I'm in this space with the guys, and and they're now guys that I know, so I'm no longer sort of feeling inferior or like I need to be in my corner or what what you know I'm, mm. I'm there I mean I mean I'm of influence <laughs> yeah. and we're here to make my shit digger. it's your um, session and and yeah and with the start of that I mean one of the first thing I think La Vida sets up um, uh, an email account for beats I think that motherfucker had like about 10,000 beats or whatever I just forgot the password. Now, nah, probably if I go back there, I'll still find some gems. Mm. You know, um, couldn't listen to that. It, it started off with doing that, and then it just got too much where you, you're not getting to the end. You know, when it, when you find one good thing, and then everything starts sounding good, and you're like, or you don't find a good thing for a long time, and everything starts sounding shit. <laughs> it was just a, an unhealthy way of working. <laughs> it was like, yeah. oh, fuck it. You know, I don't know how to filter this situation. You know, um, so I guess the travels then were necessary because yeah. it wasn't like um, anything I'd sort of planned to do. Uh, but I think with regards to creativity, and what at that point, I'm at a point where I've had this fucking... Um, what's a special request album um, that that that's respectable? I've had uh, the car that's respectable. I had boom shakalaka. I have um, do like I do. Like do. I do. Right. Mm. There's no real need for me to think shit is bad, mm. right? Because it's not. And it's I have not. all these features. Mm. Right? It's because it's not. The only bad time was that beginning of 2013. <laughs> Jesus. When we came back from... Ooh. That was cheese. Yeah, that, that first was, half or almost the whole year. Tough. Fucking terrible, right? And for me, then Kersan leaves me. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. It Mina, got I even just left. It got even tougher, but that's a story for another day. Yeah, I got you, I got you. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> the cash time leaves me. Yeah. Uh, and so we do that. I mean, yeah, and so my overall sort of demeanor is 
I'm not a dick, but I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure I'm Questa now. Mm, you, you got know? some ego like, on you. It's I'm fucking Questa, mm. you know. Just, yeah, you're even missing a few calls at the time and not returning them. But I was working on the car too. I was too. like, okay, he's uh, famous on, now. You were supposed to come to the stool. He's well. famous now. That's it. It's, that's, <laughs> it was just coming to the stool. I was I was always in the stool, bro. Yeah. We're either at either studio. I was just always literally. Wake up every morning, slangane, and go to studio or slangane studio. Big yeah. uh, pass or would hire a pass and whatever the fuck say, slangane, slangane, or give a studio, give a studio, you know? Mm. That's really all we did. No feature about John, no feature about Zakane, just my hood diggers about I'm calling, and, but we're in mm. studio, we're in fucking studio. Um, and, and in that case, because a lot of times, you know, when you look back at the shit, And people go, yo, I was working so hard. I didn't feel like I Doesn't was Doesn't even working. feel like yeah, hard work, I didn't feel man. Like I, was, I was like, shit, this is yeah, my yeah. dream. I'm living the fucking dream. Yeah. This is it. I wake up, I gather my people, we go to studio. And we make music Jesus. the whole Fana. day. Literally. Ah. This is heavy. Literally. Right? This is literally what we do. Yeah. For a living, for, there's, nothing, there's nothing more important mm. than this. It, so this, what we're doing, is not like it took us away from uh, a day job or a this or a this. Mm. It's like this is we're what we're doing it. to kind of, this is what's going to, ch- and w- we're doing it and enjoying it. Mm. This is, Jesus Christ. I was, I, was, I was like, yo, man, couldn't have asked for a better life, right? Now you're actually the rapper you've been thinking you are the whole yeah, time. Yeah, the entire time that I thought I was. <laughs> now you're and a rapper. So now all that's needed is to make the album that speaks to that, yeah. right? Um, and and that has to be approached in a certain way because there's, there's a certain sense of humility and being a dick and if you need a you need a balance of that shit. Yeah. Right? You need to know when to switch the shit up to going... I've take and to go. Yeah, I go shop. Cause you uh, need it. Uh, you know? the dig. Also. So that's Pause. that's yeah. Because <laughs> I needed the dig motion. <laughs> Jesus, it sounds like a threat. <laughs> like like yo, it's good that you got punished like that. <laughs> yeah. So uh, so at this point, there's, it's like there's a feeling myself and still a need to to say this more, right? Because mm. uh, I'm feeling myself. I'm like, yeah. And this shit, most sought after, you know? And that's why I have to make this shit. Mm. And so, and when we But did that, But you have the limelight on you at that I time. Never, I, I've never yeah. given a fuck about the limelight, bro. Except uh, today. <laughs> today, you. really, because it's... it's <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um, I see it. I feel. I feel it on me today. I feel. I feel the limelight. You know. It's bright. I mean, it's it's, it's, it's bright. bright. It's very. It's, it's bright. It's bright. Yes. It's bright. <laughs> Jesus. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> it's so good. I see. Let's it. get see to it. your your. Yeah. <clears throat> your life-changing song because that's w- that's where this whole process leads you up to. Yeah. Your your becoming the hoods, your becoming Mendoza, becoming Zola moment. Uh when you drop the big bottle of the Heineken, yeah. the beer, then good. I think white folk know that we call famous, it a good now because of you. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I was popular and I thought I was famous. I thought I was what when we were making that album. I really thought, you know, because mm. I got like most black people that are interested in urban entertainment mm. kind of um, know me or entertainment of urban people kind of like know me. And see, when Good dropped, I broke through a different level of fame that I that. that It's like, you know what I was saying about Boom Shakalaka and um, Do Like I Do and the differences of reach and what, what. I wasn't speaking to just, that song didn't speak to just the guys that I, my peers or my age group or Babon Tang, Dog, or Goko. Spoke to the country. Cool, white, black, Indian. And by that, I mean also 
white, young and old, black, mm. young and old, Indian, young and old, like you, colored, young and old, like you, dog. It was like, I was like, what the fuck Cross- is... You learned what a crossover an hit actual is. actual, cro- like fucking... What an actual hit is, actually. Yeah, an actual, actual fucking hit. national. This is not where I want to go, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what we almost called boom shakalaka. What an actual mm. national and obviously maybe there's reach outside, but international. But n- yeah, but it but has to fully kind of fully national. Dog, I was, I was, I was, I was, I, I didn't know how to react to that because first of all, I've always felt like my personality is not for that shit. Mm. Um, but what I've always wanted it in terms of. Proving myself right in 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 maybe how good I can be or how mm. far the thing can reach, right? But in terms of the persona of being that famous and popular and everywhere, yeah, not really your cause. Mm. And so a lot of it from that point is a blur. I can imagine. I I, I don't. Because I, then a spaceship just takes off on you. The only thing I cared about was performances, right? It's like, okay, but because I love doing that shit. It's, it's yeah. like I fucking love manipulating that shit. That's dope. But that but, uh, also changed your show. It had to change. That song changes your. That's yeah. where your show focus the comes bands from. And everything. And mm. um, we'd actually tried it from before even we dropped the joint, but uh, there was like a, a whole. Sort of what's next, whatever is next is big and has to find us in some sort of different because it has to be a different way to showcase this shit if it's this big. It's, mm. you know, if it means we have to learn new shit, then that's what we have to do. We have to learn new shit. Mm. Uh, and, and, and so, I mean, even then at that time, it's like, Ojalá no AKA, right? Because uh, there's levels. And yeah, because he's doing the live shit. Yeah, nah, bro. Led, we, we, let's do I the almost said led the way, no. Uh, double H, I think. Double H, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Double, double H's H. always been doing it. Um, and then, but yeah, going down a like lot in our group. Mm. It, 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 yeah, he was the first on in our generation. I that shit, right? Yeah. And fucking ended up to a point. Started <clears> off as like, eh, 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 and then it was like, and mm. I'm like, oh shit. Like, oh, we see why. We should have started with him because now we have to start at the uh, 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 mm. uh, and then get to. <laughs> <laughs> so we also go through the steps of, uh, mm. and then eventually get to. But yeah, it changed everything. Like that joint changed everything about everything. And everything mm. became so much more, I don't know what to say, uh, magnified, right? It's like it's just, mm. it's everything's bigger, everything's closer, everything is reachable, everything is, uh, everything is everything that. That I'm not. <laughs> you have to adjust. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're like, yo, shit, this is, this, and and it was it, right? Not mm. it was it. It was the moment. It was that was the time, and that was the shit. And, but for me, it was enjoyed it, appreciated, uh, grateful for it. I just almost kind of hit cruise control or autopilot and just let it go where it went like wherever the fuck it was gonna land because there was just too many things to try and get a hold of if that's what you were trying to do yeah. or to try and and it's just too much going there's too many people around it became big there's business ma- it became big business right mm. and 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 I'd be lying to you to say that I was I'd fixed myself to be ready for big business like that of course right um, or was even in a place where I th- I may have theoretically or hypothetically what what thought that I was, mm. but um, I wasn't. And that's only because you didn't know what big business was yeah, or what it entails. Yeah, you, you only know when you're Fuck there. Fuck big business. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, yo, at that point, big because, business is not a game. Uh, and it's not even like a reaction to it. It's like it's almost like it, it's it's just not. F- it doesn't come naturally to me to be the guy that almost for however long doesn't have to prove himself constantly or fight against something mm. bigger or fight against you know at that point it's like everyone says yes you're here it's like yeah uh, you're the one what do you mean 
okay, what not? And then all the shit that comes with that, which should take it to another place and another place. And also, mm-hmm. I've I'd never had, still don't have dreams of being a a, a, a state artist or a Europe artist or mm-hmm. an artist. No, I can go there, do a show too, and to fucking come back home, right? Yeah, you're uh, probably so, South Africa. Yeah, I don't know if it's proudly or stupidly, but <laughs> it's either or. I just, yeah. you know, I've never picked it it like that but neither did I picture and go to but then that's why also everything from then on was like fucking I'll fucking take know. it I don't know I'll yeah. take it so bon thank what, you I'm grateful caviar? Yes. grateful as fuck yes yeah, some caviar would be but nice but I barely yes. knew what the fuck was <laughs> <laughs> you know mm. um, but the, it was dope the man the bright lights the bright lights hit and, and they hit what do you and the process. And they were doing a course to someone. Eh, Elaim like to someone. Louis Tale, Louis Pant, something like that. Process, something like that, and and an old song. But yeah, I mean, I would bring Pant to Gil in a call. It's just, I just. I was about to fight for you. I so want. Didn't Pant like you? No, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't. But uh, I wanted it. But when it got there, there was just so much. It came with so much that mm. I, I didn't know how to navigate through or deal with, and so I didn't. Mm. I just you just locked out I don't know I just said <laughs> guys uh, the guys I'm working I'm like press next let's mm. go there whatever that is you also uh-huh. called upon for this moment the powers of Casper uh, in your vest yes who <clears throat> obviously at the time and still is at the top of his game he hasn't slipped since yeah um you called upon his powers and he came and did more than justice, ne? You are fuck, fucking hell, dog. Let me tell more you, than I haven't, justice. when I perform, I don't, I haven't moved that verse. It's there. It's in the... Yeah, you, you do, you let that... Yeah, you yeah let I don't that rap it though jam. because I don't need to. I just... Hey, watch out now because you don't need to. Because <laughs> it's... That verse is that much. It's yeah. like, it's... It's, 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 you know, with the combination of how the joint starts and that, yeah, well, that's mm. so cool. That is a big moment of a joint mm. and then Casper's verse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because he peaks, it peaks yes. at his verse. <laughs> like I literally just go and I just lead them, you know, get ready, stop going, and they just keep going yeah. throughout the whole fucking thing. Yeah, he was um, on fire then. And but he knew, he, he knew. I think one of the things he said um, in, in 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 having heard the joint for the first time, it's good, yeah, that, and, and y'all got yeah shit, y'all y'all mm. summer is done, mm. summer finished. Casper, uh, who also is nothing. is one of our affiliates, is one of our sprite ones. One yeah, of our, is 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 also in the limelight um, <clears throat> at the moment with Sprite. I don't know if you've heard his I've new heard, song. Um, so, so yeah, mm, yeah, I've heard. That's the fire, joint. no? I've heard the joint. I uh, maybe. I, I think I, that's I, dope. I, I, the the I OG need to, I need rapping. To go, I need to go do my version of it. Like not the version of the thing. I think he has people rapping. You oh, know yeah, this yeah, whole yeah, yeah, yeah the, where you finish it off and uh, now I need to add a verse. What 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 what? I saw but I've a, been seeing that and stuff. I saw Nail Bay killed that that challenged. Uh, I think that's the one that that's the only one I've seen with like really dope reviews. Mm, I've seen a couple. The, I've seen a couple of. I, I saw hers too. But mm. obviously, she's the only one I know that I've seen them, so I can't now mention yeah, the other I mean, guys. I don't know. Yeah. The, that's why it's like, that's the only one I know. That. <laughs> yeah, you know. they have that challenge going on. Uh, the Soul Joint came out. Uh, so Sprite's still heavily in the culture, still shining the limelight yeah, on a guy st- who's had the limelight for, <laughs> for more than 10 years. Maybe shine it on me. <laughs> <laughs> But I think that's... I don't know if y'all hear this, man, but please listen to this, man. <laughs> yeah, I think... I actually saw the, the Soul video. Um, I when was that? The video. I saw it. It came out a few days ago, no? Yeah. What, or was it last week, Friday? Yeah, a few days ago, no? I saw it and you can tell, it's like when you... Last week, last week. Last week, yeah, sometime. End of the week, sometime I saw it. Um, it reminds me of whenever you had... Obviously, I know you in, in 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 person, so I'd know whenever you'd have like a brand brand money, and then you do like a fire video. It's like 
with the with the soul video I yeah could, it's, it's one like, of those it's like yeah, even the, you can tell dude the director okay even the director is it's, uh, it's not a hip hop director <laughs> It's not it's a, a Peter Malin. It's the ex. <laughs> yeah, you can this is how it. I work. So uh, shout out to Sprite on there. Yeah, shout out to brands like that. I still fuck with mm. like uh, w- b- the space of just creativity, and not only yeah. just hip hop, but because we're here and we represent that. Shout out to the brands yeah. that fuck with hip hop. You know, yeah. um, it's really dope to see. I mean, like I said, we started this conversation with the Sprite hip hop tour, and yeah. this is sixteen years ago, and Imagine. they're still somehow involved in the game. That's and that's cool. You You're became. Yes, you became just as brand worthy at that point. You don't feel like, oh, am I say pushing it a bit? Also, another thing, dog. Me, rap, hip hop, and what, what. As much as it's a very confrontational, who's better than who? Lyrically, yes, but I've never really been competitive in that sense. So I don't, mm. I don't, I, I don't watch a lot that happens. I have to get told stuff. Yeah. You know, or I, I don't, I. It's very rare for me to find out things for myself because I don't go out there looking for it Checking or I don't how the know. Games being played. Yeah, yeah, I really, I really, and and I know this is also fucking. Yeah, I'm not part of the game. It sounds like I'm trying to be cool or whatever, or trying to make myself bigger than whatever is going on on social media or what what. But mm. in truth, I really don't know something I'm, until I'm told. You know, mm. um, at least I don't know eighty percent of the time. So I've just generally always been like that. There's, there's things you see that are okay in your face and then there's things you have to look for the things that are in my face I see and I and I congratulate so as far as I was brand worthy yes I was but compared to who and what I don't know that mm. you know I mean I've worked with a lot of brands I'm still working with um, literally have some things that I maybe on mm. our part two will have to talk about yeah. um, at that point you must point, tell them I say hi <laughs> alright I'll let them know you say what's up I actually will. I'll yeah. actually let them know. You Just, say what's up. You know. And uh, no, I'll let them know. I uh, chopped it, and he's looking to chop some things. No, no, no. You feel me? I'll, I mean, that's all. That's the least I can do, right? We chopped uh, it. They must cut. Uh, <laughs> you know. Come on, it's that's a, it. Uh, no, so you know. I mean, <clears throat> for me, it's always been like, it's it's like that. It's like, it's great. Everyone's great. Everyone's fine. Everyone's mm. okay. It's or everyone's not. I won't know until I'm told. It's, I just know what's going on with me, mm. you know, which is a selfish thing I've been told by many a friend or three. Um, it's but a healthy selfish. It's also a decision I made after a certain amount of time of feeling like, you know, I almost had like a group life, like where everyone has to either have a say I actually noticed when you logged out of the group life. Oh, like, yeah? Yeah. Like, cause you you're right. You were very. Yeah, sort of, I let I let the group decide, and then I kind of yeah, just go with it. And yeah. then I noticed when it was like, no, nah, now no, Senzo's no. gonna do his yeah. own thing, and yeah. I mean, he'll link really up with the group when it's group time. Yeah, but that that's but that's also not business, right? It, that was really like a personal decision, like. Mm. Shit, because when you answer for it at the end of it all, at the end of the business, at the end of the brand, at the end of the career, at the end of everything, you answer personally. Yeah. So the decision that you make, regardless, you can call them business now, nothing personal, nothing business. At the end of it all, when everything's finished, it's all personal. Mm. Right? Um, so uh, you focus on the personal now, so that by the time it's all personal, at least you and your personal are in check. You know, at least you know what to do. I'm not trying to figure how my life should work at 75. I'm like trying to figure it out now to set it up so that at 75 I don't have to so that you're I'm cruising. on a fucking beach somewhere mm. in an island you know but yeah shit that took a very serious turn <laughs> <laughs> I feel you <laughs> but yeah but I mean uh, yeah so the cartoon came out and you know historic shit uh, historic shit shout out to uh, Para shout out to La Vida shout out to X shout out to mm. you know TLT Ukobi Peace to Mako uh, mm. Zaga every fucking body that uh, was involved shout out to and, Rap Life uh, uh, Rap Life generally <laughs> yeah. right um, and then I may have to count producers that's gonna take too long nah, we, but I mean we love y'all producers for me of course of course but we've it's, been it's, chopping it's, it for a bit now. Yeah, and for me, it's, it's like, I think we're going to have a part two. Which is yeah, dope, yeah, we'll have producer off, credits there. It's like the best thing I've done so far, musically, is that. Mm. Right, uh, the cartoon. Uh, 
and it's not something I did myself. And so some of it will be celebrated in this whole, same as like the fucking 16 year career. Yeah. It's definitely not something I didn't do without uh, the influence of many people, you know, be it a small influence or a big one that literally gave me platforms like a slick or maybe a fan who said, yo, keep going, that shit's dope, right? Mm. Uh, it's always just been a collect, just energies coming together to create this uh, fucking 16 year career. The whole moment. And the whole entire fucking thing. And, and for me to be able to now come to a stage or a point where I'm a 16 year fucking veteran in this Crazy, shit. Crazy nigga. Um, and, and I feel like it's insane. And I feel like I've made it look doable. I've made it look like people have to not become who they are to be able to do it. I've kind of, you know, tried my best to keep it me uh, yeah. as possible. You've done that uh, well too. Which, 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 you know, and forget the accolades, right? But, and then to come to a point where you can go and do a show at Carnival City where all this shit started. It's the East right now. It's where It's where I hone the skills. It's where they all come from. I mean, I've been influenced by everyone in the country, but where it started was the East Rand. So coming back 360, back to the East Rand. Back to uh, your home. Back to my home, you know, um, on the 12th of August to do what is the 16th bar. What to me is like, I've written many a verse, but the perfect verse, the very, the most important verse is the one of, you know, that I've lived literally and given to the game. Um, mm. You appreciate this Your moment. Real life verse. You know, it's my real life verse. My mm. by real life events. You know, it's when they say a hey, true story by. You mm. can see it in the years and 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 you know we switch flows. You know, some flows are great, some flows are not. Mm. So you go through ups and downs and all that Fire. shit. You know, um, but we're here. We're at a point where I'm here chopping it with you. And I'm saying I'm doing a fucking show at Carnival City on the 12th of August. How crazy It's called is the it? 16th fucking bar. And, you know, because it's collaborative, it's it's just a blessing. It's not something that I look at and go, I bet I could kill a show at Carnival City. It's like, I hope I can do something with everyone that's helped me get here. Right? It's literally and, a celebration. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know if what I mean? If we can that day all come together and... And Have then go apart time. again, right? yeah. If if need be, right? Um, and and yeah. So I say that to urge everyone <clears throat> to get the tickets um, available at Compu Ticket Carnival mm. City. And I also say that to say I miss some. I miss my niggas, right? Uh, that 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 I work with, that I did a lot of this shit with. Um, and you know, if we can open up platforms to talk in real real time, I'm talking to y'all, and y'all know, um, I miss y'all. That's all. I love that. Uh, I was going to ask you questions to close, but I feel like you just... 16th part, 12th of October, Carnival City. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Chopping it with Buddha T. We'll see you guys on part two. Crazy! That's it. My nigga, you're good at this shit. Ah, Must shit. start a podcast. Uh-huh. <laughs>